I'm starting my life over with just a truck and a chainsaw, reviving my lifelong dream of running a successful cattle farm. It's going to be hard work, but we won't take this second chance for granted. I'm excited to share this journey with you as we go from rags to riches. Welcome to Cattle Ranch. Welcome back to Cattle Ranch. We got a lot to do here in August. Uh, probably pretty much organizing this area for the cows. You know, we'll do our typical sales event here, get things sold. We're going to fill up this water tank and we're going to add the supplemental water tanks to the greenhouses today if I don't damage the water tower too much. That should help us go a little bit farther without having to refill these. I uh, definitely think that's my hope for it. Let's get that opened. Can I? Can I? There we go. All right, that's going. Now we're going to hop into the construction mode real quick, and I found it under containers, I believe. Was it containers? Supplemental water tank. So we want to find a little spot right there, and I think they both need it, so we'll go right there as well. And I believe they need filled also. So it gave us water, it looks like, already. Nice, so it comes pre-filled. That's a bonus so now that that's full you know these apparently are already filled up all the way so it's not gonna let us put water in them question mark there we go so it looks like 15 oh 15 000 is the capacity now that's that'll help that will help a lot so we'll get both of these filled up all the way to 15 000 and let's check on the animals. Didn't use too much water. That's good. They got enough roughage for now. And hopefully soon that silage turns. It's finished fermenting. So go ahead and place the truck back here somewhere. One of the next things we need to look into is finding a flatbed that that semi can pull. So planks are still at a pretty decent price. So I'm going to get them sold along with the flowers and mushrooms. And we might make some changes and automatically sell some things just to save us some time. Planks we won't do, but the greenhouses we will. Let's go ahead and get to the sale point and get this sold, see where we're at financially. I got a couple upgrades I want to be able to sneak in to the cow area. Just need a little bit of storage to get more organized. It's a little chaotic out there right now. So $89,000 in goods this morning puts us at $113,000. Let's head on back and take a look at the cow area. Let's also check to see if that silage has finished fermenting because it would be nice to get some feed in there and learn a little bit more about this mod. 77%. So we got a little bit of time to still pass and we do have a bale in here. A little worried that there's too much straw. There's definitely too much straw. So I think we, we messed up on this one. We messed up. It's not going to be a good mixture. We're going to have to figure out though because... I guess we put a straw bale in last, maybe? Yeah. I'm we'll to have to figure that out or make smaller bales. Now that's a little bit of storage there. Let's, ah, uh, yeah, let's, ah, uh, let's show the plans. Not the cleanest load here, but this should do for a little demonstration. Are we close enough? No, we're not. So we got to get a little closer, but you get the idea. In there, they're all in there stacked so nice. If you haven't caught on, I'm a huge fan of automation. I don't mind doing the tasks, but I like to progress and moving bales around just seems to slow down progression. We'll do a couple sessions where we we actually move the bales around ourselves, but uh, not my favorite. Sorry, cow. So we'll get this all cleaned up and organized and hopefully enough time will pass at that point to finish testing out this TMR. The first batch is definitely gonna be a little messed up. All right, so a good amount of time has passed and we got a little organized over here. Not too bad. So now if we turn this on and start mixing, did we do it? Did our bale disappear? I think the bale disappeared. Where's our grass bale? It should be silage. Are they all silage? They're not showing up as silage. Do they not age outside or in here? I always wondered that. No, we have 13. Oh, okay, so maybe it just need a little bit longer. Let's pass a little more time. I don't wanna pass that much time. Let's refresh that screen maybe. Grass silage. We'll grab one for now. It's not taking it. What am I doing wrong? I mean, it's, it's, it's in there. It's in there. It does not wanna mix that silage, does it? Let's just empty this out and see what happens. Okay, so it's empty now, but we're gonna completely empty it because I don't know what's going on here. I think the thing that's happening here is one of the DLCs changed 
the grass silage and silage are two different things, and I think that's the problem we're running into. And I wasn't aware of that, so I guess I should do more research. Pretty embarrassing, but if we change these recipes, I think we might be able to find one. This one looks similar. Young stock. So let's see if we can figure this one out. Looks like mostly hay, so we'll start with that. See if we got understand this right. So it is mixing, and the hay shows it 100%, which is what we would expect. We'll let that finish. Okay. So that was about 33%. So now if we do one of these grass silage, I don't think we have to open it. I think that we just had the wrong, we just had a, what are you working with? I think this might be Moz Plus. So that's gonna go, let's see, is it gonna go too high? I assume it will, cause it'll be 50-50. No, okay. So now we should be able to get away with the straw bale that we're already running out of and boom but is it too much it is too much now let's grab here another hay bale it's getting us close so i think yeah i think we need smaller bales so that we can do better mixtures but we could add a little bit of hay here stop now it turns to straw interesting so let's lower this get the straw potentially to a decent level so 65 percent should be good so we need smaller bales or a bigger mixture or something to help us out here we just really can't split those bales in half i guess we could use the forks and hold it over it and use like half a bale but that would also require a better set of forklifts so we got some things we need to fix around the farm so that we can do these better. So like if I hold this here, we'll start taking it. Right there it will. And it should bring it down to, that should do it. And we got ourselves a good mixture there. Okay, so we'll have to do this very tricky. Very, very tricky. And now I'm interested to see what this looks like in here. Yeah, we'll have to see what their health gets to. If it gets to 100% or not, we might play around with some different mods. Okay, this must be that one. So the baby cows are here. So yeah, this is definitely the one we just added. So it's a little more efficient. It did show the mixture. Okay, I think we have a plan. I'm gonna go ahead and make a few mixtures here that we can get away with and uh, go from there. All right, I think we got it down. We got a mixture. We did waste a little bit trying to figure it out. This is a frustrating one, you know, I haven't used these mods and they seem to be pretty cool once we learn, but we'll have to figure them out and, and just deal with the growing pains. And we'll get some better equipment to do this. This is something I don't want to cheat on. I'd rather do legitly, but we're going to hold this here about, uh, let's see, we'll get it about, yeah, 2,500 liters left in that. We'll throw this, ah, we'll get hay first. Okay, so we got some grr, some hay here. And that whole thing can go in. Pretty confident in that. And that's okay that that went a little too far because the silage, if we just hold it over, we'll watch until the levels get pretty close. And we need a little more straw now. So we'll take that out and get the straw back up to a decent percentage. About right there. We can add a little bit more of this. And then potentially throw a little more hay in here. And hopefully that doesn't go too far. Yeah, I think that did it right there. Not bad. We'll get the hang of it. So now these cows are, yeah, it's, it's climbing. They get a little percentage of each, which is exactly what we're looking for. So I assume as time passes, their health will start to increase. And over here, we got 54,000 liters, 89,000 Whoops, eighty-nine thousand liters here. We'll see how long that lasts. That was quite the adventure. And we'll go ahead and put this away, and then we'll put the rest of those bales away. And I might, you know, let's pre-mix one just to get some more practice. So we'll grab some hay to start with, and we'll just drop that in. Oh, no, did it reset? No, it didn't. Okay just not showing us for some reason. All right, so that's going good. We'll let it finish. These are 7,250 7, liters. These are 6,000 liters. Okay, so there is less silage. So that's why it's a little more of a percentage. Do we have some straw still? Yes, we got 1,259 liters of straw. And how does that do for a mixture? 
not enough. We're going to get it close to being a little too much. So close to about 25%, I think is what we want to go for. Yeah, we'll go about 26% there. And hay is cheaper, so we'll add a little bit more hay. And that should be good for a decent mixture. And a little bit of hay left over in there. Let's go ahead and fill it up on this side. Actually, let's take care of the adults first. And hoping that's not too much hay left in there to turn it into hay, that it stays as total mixed ration with the ratios that we have. And it did. Perfect. Okay, some awkward learning curves, but I think we have it all under control. Yeah, so their health should be absolutely taken care of moving forward. Uh, we just need some time to pass and having the grass turn to silage, we pass a little too much time. So next, there's nothing really to do on the farm today. The grass isn't ready. There's nothing to do on these fields back here. I guess we could make some decisions on what we're gonna do with that land over there. Or we can do something a little more fun. I think it's time to move on from this truck. Let's go ahead and pull it into here and get it sold. Did we pull it in far enough? We did. All right, let's repaint it. We'll get the most we can out of it, which is 13,000. That puts us at 71 to do a little bit of shopping. Let's see what kind of trucks they have available here. So I was hoping to get a little bit more cash from the truck. So we're going to sell everything that accumulated during the day. I uh, Yeah, that's looking nice over there. I can't wait for the grass to start coming in. Maybe needs a little bit of trees, some more. Yeah, yeah that's looking good. Uh, another 47,000. That should give me enough money to buy what I want to buy. All right, let's make sure this isn't in the way here. So for $96,695, we got a new truck. We got a 3500 HD Chevy Silverado. Oh yeah, the high country. Let's get this thing home. Let's give it a nice little drive. Look at that interior. Beautiful. Drives pretty smooth. Just a little bit of a red accent to it and the matte black dark windows. Oh, and this thing flies. Listen to that. Handling is amazing. One question. Does it fit in the garage? Eh, it kind of fits. Not bad. Nice. Just don't look at the top there. That's oh, beastie. It is beastie. How are the greenhouses doing? Still got 10,000, so that's nice. It might be a couple days that we get to go instead of every every single day. So pr plenty of planks. I did that before the episode started. So we got plenty of wood to make planks. And I think that's all we're going to be able to do. I do want to fast forward to September just to see how the animals are doing. I usually don't do that in the same episode. We like to do one month, but let's let's do that just out of curiosity. Oh, we have milk. So yeah, health did get up to 100% starting to work towards puberty for the calves and the cows working towards reproduction and milk very slowly but we only have 12 cows so that's understandable straw is out so we'll have to look into that next i don't know if this makes slurry it does okay but not manure good to know already 21,000 liters okay so we do we should probably look into a slurry tank to fertilize in the future and use our own product so Next episode, we'll definitely take care of this grass, and I think the fields in the back are not quite ready. Let's just take a peek here just to get a little preview. Yeah, so unfortunately, I think both of these crops are going to be ready in the same month, which is going to make for a jam-packed episode, but we have some other things we can do. We can, we definitely need to uptake... We'll get a lot of straw from there. We need another crop that can give us straw because we're going to need to start stockpiling that. So we might take advantage of the rest of field 48 and make another interesting shape field and expand to 38 once we have enough cash. Yeah, we're going to need more crops. We're going to need more crops. There's some rocks in the way here, which should make for a pretty decent design of a field. And the grass is growing back here. Not quite ready to cut yet. I don't think hay and silage is going to be the first concern. I think it's definitely going to be straw. We should probably just use what we have. How are we doing? On yeah, they're not going through the food too fast. So I think we'll be okay with only 12 cows right now to help us build our inventory. But welcome to Cattle Ranch. Uh, we are going to do something a little different today. We're going to start by selling this auto loading trailer. Uh, I mentioned that I've used it in a lot of series. It's time to sell it and make some changes. We're going to send this tractor home. You can see we have the truck and the semi here already. So let's go ahead and create a job here. Can you do it? All right, let's go talk to the salesperson here and purchase a couple trailers. So there's this 20 foot gooseneck one that can do production pallets auto loading for $13,000. And 
You can adjust the attachment, but I think we'll go with gooseneck on this. No, I don't think we want to add that branding. I and mean, we'll just leave standard everything else. And I like the wood design, so we will do that. US is free. It has a wench on it. Oh, I'm going to pay for that because that's kind of kind of a nice feature. So that one will be for production work. So we'll go ahead and hop in the truck and make sure we can hook this all up. Get the tailgate lowered. Man, you got to go straight to it, don't you? Should be good. And yeah, I think... We will go test this out before we buy the other one, just to make sure everything is functioning as we expect. Deactivate auto load. Looks like it is. Haven't used this before. We're going to give it a shot, though. Blocked by object. I didn't even see him. Did I drive right past my tractor? Oh, there he is. All right, so we should be able to sneak right here and grab these. Nope. Need to... First need to fill the tool. What does that mean? Fill the tool. Dude, you didn't see the water tower there? Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, we'll park him here. We might call an audible on this trailer already. Let's go see if it's just the custom ones on the map that we can't do. And if so, maybe we just, yeah, sad stuff. Should test things out before I turn the game on. Oh, that's why. That's strange don't know if I dislike it though. And then what happens? How do we unload it? I, I do that. And then I, not enough space. All right, let's go right here. Not enough space. What, how much space do you need? I like to show the failures and successes. So we will, we're going to go return this, but we'll, we'll sell the goods first. You know, trying out mods is fun. And sometimes you find out that they're not what you expected. So we're going to go return it. All right, let's see if it easily sells this stuff though. No, that's a, that's a hard no on this, uh, this auto trailer, auto loader. So if you're interested in trying it out, I just did it for you. And I would say, uh, don't, don't do it. Sorry to whoever made that, but it's a no go for me. We're going to take a little bit of loss on money there and look at the shop for other options. I do want to find a different one for us to use. So we'll look at our options, but first let's go ahead and plop these in here and get them sold. Oh, didn't mean to throw it like that. That was weird. All right, that got us to 59,000. Let's go talk to the salesperson again and browse the products. Well, this is one I've always wanted to try out and we'll see if it's any better. So a little, little bit of research and development going on here. And yeah, the hideous color, we went with it to match. All right, we got that hooked up and I think there's some options to like, open the door so it's just open the back door interesting all right but this should function the same as the other trailer we had one type of item at a time but it feels more professional to me to have the semi and the trailer take our goods and sell them again this should be exactly the same and should just be able to yeah do that is there another one let's open the back and Nice, you can see it all in there. Very cool, we got the 6,000 like normal on a day. Very sweet. All right, let's go ahead, we'll park that right there for now. We'll go sell those later, but I did want to get some work going around on the farm so we can make some progress. Talked about last episode, the main thing we're gonna do is cut the grass and we're gonna make sure we're not creating swaths when we cut because we need to make another mixture of hay and silage to keep the cows happy. And like we mentioned about the bale size, I, when we baled this, I might go one size smaller to see if it helps us with the ratios. Even though it'll be a little more work doing the baling and picking up the bales, I think that would be a wise decision. And at this point, I don't, I think we're gonna do a regular worker and not course play so that we get the uh, fees correctly when we're using workers. Hold that, got it lowered. Back it to right here. And the back needs lowered and make sure it's in the right work mode. Wide spreading is what we wanted. Yeah, so we'll get this headland done and then we'll hand over to the worker and see how they handle this large grass field. This is exciting. This is our first time doing this as a large field and it should have been prepared correctly. I believe we did do the the lime and fertilizer. Yeah, so this should be the, the top yield that we'll get from it. So it'll be nice to see how many bales we get out of it when we get done. I was gonna hand over to a worker and I decided with this setup we have, it's going so fast, there's no reason to not do it myself. So I just kind of busted it out and enjoying cutting the grass. Uh, nice size field now. 
I can't imagine us needing all of this product right away, but we will collect it and store it and make decisions on selling things like this as we go. If we start getting, oh, why is it not working now? If we start getting a little too much product, we can start selling it and rationing that way. Otherwise, we'll, we'll keep it at first for all the cows. And obviously this cow operation is gonna keep growing. So maybe it does make sense to start stockpiling all of these bales. All right, we'll get it all folded up and get the tether. And I'm gonna look at our inventory of silage. I'm thinking we might just do this one all being hay because we can. Yeah, let's take a look at that once we get this parked. Looking at our grass silage inventory, 126,000 liters of grass silage in inventory, 65,000 liters of hay. So I think that kind of answers that question for us. So let's go ahead and we'll get in the field boss and get the tether hooked up and we'll get going on that and quickly right behind it, do the wind rowing so we can get this done quickly or as quick as possible at least you know you know what i mean and there'll be some areas that we'll probably have to do ourselves so maybe we will do one step at a time and can this tractor even pull this off it seemed once it got into the right gear it's totally fine getting to the edge there yeah and then the areas that just aren't in the field i guess we can we can go ted up real quick ourselves did we run out of water we did run out of water. No way. Oh, okay. Well, we'll go sell these goods and then we'll come back, get the water tank and fill that up. Oh man, we relied on the supplemental ones too long and forgot to check first thing in the morning. We've never done this before. So let's just kind of see. It kind of works. We'll have to line up a little bit better. I think we just missed uh, one pallet or two. Not bad. Gets our grand total back up to $78,000. I do like the feel of having a real diesel and trailer delivering our products for us now instead of always using just the flatbed trailer. But we'll get this back to the cattle area where we'll probably store it and then grab the water tank like we mentioned and check on the tether after that. I really like the way this uh, storage is working out here. We'll have to get some more smaller ones for other equipment as we get equipment that's dedicated to the cattle operation versus qu equipment that we have that we're sharing in both areas. Boy, that takes a lot now. So that it's back up and running. We'll get the flowers, let's double check. Mushrooms are full at 15,000. Flowers are full at 15,000. They must have both been filling up at the same time there. Very nice. Try not to drive in the grass and we'll get the water tank put away and continue continuing. I had to customly set up the width on this. I'm not sure what happened there, but we'll get this road up. And again, we'll have to do some of the cleanup. This will definitely help us move faster. And once they're done with the tedding, we can go ahead and get that tractor on the baling. Oh, it seems like he's gonna catch up though. All right, tedding's all done. Wind rowing is, seems to be going good. So we'll go get the baler going and we should be able to use the same course and just send the field boss on its way. And we'll get the trailer ready to pick up the bales while all that happens. All right, in theory, this should work if the worker can figure out how to get started here. Yeah, really not sure what their plan is. Oh no, all right, before they start, okay. So we'll get one bale the wrong size, but let's go ahead and we'll do the 180s and see if that helps. So the first bale will be the 220 still because there's a little bit in there, but then it'll switch to 180 at that point. But I think it'll give us a little more flexibility in the food mixer. All right, good thing we have a little bit of cash. Bale auto loader here can fit up to 30 bales. They can be up to 180 round which is our plan. So we will go with that. So uh, that's a interesting start. There we go. And we have the truck here, so we can utilize that. And hopefully this works. Again, I, I, to address the using auto loading trailers instead of loading them myself, I, I tend to, you know, we're doing a lot of content on this channel and I don't mind doing the bailing myself, but it's, it's not my favorite. And I feel like it just, once you do it once, it's just a lot of rinse and repeat and it just slows down the progress is my opinion on that. And I don't really, I don't really want to spend all day loading bales. Just, yeah, if it turns people off from the channel, I apologize, but that is my uh, thought process. All right, so let's go backfill these. Make sure we got the setting right here. There we go, nice. So once we get caught up, we can just follow the baler around and make sure these stay out of the baler's way. The wind rower 
It's doing its job. And this cleanup we'll do, we'll have to do ourselves on the edges. Kind of like the way it stacks. This is a nice mod. That one, yeah, we're not going to be able to do that one. We'll just move this out of the way. We'll get it in inventory there soon. Try not to drive over the hay too much here. Nice, the wind rowing is just about complete too. Are these guys going to fight with each other? What's going to happen here? Yeah, just wait. Wait your turn. It'll be cleared here in a second. Very nice. It does only hold 30. There's room for more, but it will only hold 30, it looks like. So we will get these dropped off and come back and get the rest. And gosh, it's damaging the field a lot. All right, let's see if we know how to do this one. That should be, yeah, like that. Course plate got in my way. Go like right there. Unload again, and these ones weren't close enough. Nice, so that's 30 in there. Get our stock now, we have 267, yeah, so this will be good. We'll do a lot, sorry cow, a lot of hay this time, and next time around we can do some silage. There's extra areas we can cut to if we get in desperate need of silage, which might happen. But I think we will just have to play by the game's rules there. And once we buy that land, there'll be some extra grass on the ground for us to pick up. I, I guess. I'm surprised it doesn't disappear over time, though. It's terrible. Oh, I didn't mean to put those on there. Got some cleanup to do over here today. Getting a little unorganized. But since we grabbed that one bale already, let's go ahead and pick up the rest. And I think it's just one more down there. Yeah. We can wrap those two later on, but I'm not too concerned about them. There's a little bit of silage. If we get in a pinch, we can uh, wrap them. We could have cleaned up out here, too. All right, 28 more bales. 26 of them are hay, so we should be sitting really good for hay for now. There we go. Well, we got a good amount of lime to put on this field, so I think we'll do that next. Get it prepped for the next harvest. And then fertilizers next after that. Shouldn't be a lot that this goes through, but we'll see. We'd be shocked if we go through all this. Plenty of lime left over. 35%. We're going to have to get an order for liquid nitrogen because... I'm wanting to use the sprayer that we got on sale, gosh, months ago. And I don't think we've used it once yet. We haven't had to deal with weeds yet because we've been having everything plowed so far and weeds haven't had a chance to grow. So we'll do a delivery for some nitrogen. And fertilizer is expensive. Hopefully this is the only one we need. And let's see, how big is this bad boy when it spreads out? That's not bad at all. Not bad at all. Let's turn that on. And we can see the spots. We can see it turning yellow. It's starting to get a little bit better. Very, very nice. So I'm someone that doesn't really read much when new DLCs come out. And I'm assuming that the grass getting destroyed is part of the new DLC because the crop destruction's off. Anybody knows, let me know. Uh, it's kind of annoying, to be honest with you. I thought crop destruction would prevent that, and I just wasn't prepared for that with, with that. So maybe I shouldn't have enabled that new DLC until I read about it. Let me know. Getting it turned into a nice, pretty orange on the nitrogen chart here, and I I guess that's what grass needs. Looks like we did have enough in one tank to do all this. The good thing about it being maintenance and not like the first time applying it, it doesn't use as much. So should be good. A couple areas, you know, just didn't get touched because they didn't need nitrogen and the lime gets left over. Just an unfortunate side effect that we will have to deal with. But that is all done and we timed it pretty good because now it's about 3.40 in the afternoon. And who doesn't like their day ending around 3.40? I think that's pretty sweet. Why are those on? There we go. Let's do one little check of everything before we call it a, <clears throat> before we call it a day. Water is looking good there. Food's looking good. Production-wise, flowers are fine. Lime we kind of ignore. Wood we do. Okay. We'll get a couple trees chopped down. We're going to keep that going. I think, gosh, maybe next episode we start expanding the productions a little bit. I'd like to turn the planks into something else to make a little bit more cash from them. Oh, we had the little ones over here we should take care of first. Oh, and then we, oh, we need to clean this place up. Is there another one back here? Yep. Ah, can't see it. All right, we got those three. They're not really going to add a lot of liters of wood, but I wanted to get them out of the way. Might as well. Looks like it might be October, September, October, November when those are ready. Ooh, means I have no clue what we're going to do next episode. Starting to cut down some of the trees on this side to kind of 
help out. But if my math is right, this is a 35 meter tree. Gosh, that and maybe this one is all we need. That was close. That was close. Um, let's do front of this one, which is way out here. Hmm. How are we going to do this? We'll do one at a time. Might as well. It'll, it will be fine. Yeah, put that at 12,000. So we probably only did need two, but we ended up cutting down three. So we'll get both of those brought up here next. All right. Go ahead and just try this out. This might be a mistake, but we're going to try it out. Yeah, that tree's going to be a problem. Oh, why would it disconnect? A little piece here. What a pain. Which way brings it in? This one? Control M. Oh, Control K. That's what we wanted. Bring them closer. Bring them closer. Nice. Okay. And that should be close enough. This is at 18,000 liters. Well, good morning. Not a lot to do on the farm. Our two fields over here are very close to being ready to be harvested. As we see next month, they should be ready, both of them. So that'll be a very busy month. Today, I want to add a little bit to our cattle operation. We'll have to check on the food for the cattle here in a little bit, but at first I wanted to place down a new building and we do have enough money for it. So we're going to start producing milk and I think there's no better opportunity than now to start a new production and I think it's going to be a dairy. So we're going to put it right there, a little small little dairy, pretty cool building. So let's go ahead and get the tanker all hooked up and get the milk that we have. And you know, if I was a betting man, I would assume it's just from the pasture that has the larger cows. And let's find the spot to pick up the milk from, which I believe is right here. Is it really this? Oh, that is back here. We just weren't lined up right. There we go. I hit 4,000 liters. That'll be a decent start. And as these cows get older, we'll definitely start seeing a lot larger of a production from that. Let's go ahead and we'll need to decorate this so that it's not just a random building. Got to figure the best way to approach this and I think that would be a good one there. Go ahead and get the milk. Oops, all set for them. That's going. Now let's jump into the production and get it all operated. So I think the first thing we want to do is kind of take a look at prices of butter and cheese. So butter will max out at 2,900, cheese is 6,000. So if we look at the production though, cheese is gonna be a three to one where this is a 15 to 13. I think because of money, we're just gonna go for cheese and we will set it to spawning. There we go. And I don't think we'll get a pallet right away. It's gonna be a slow grind but I think that will be okay. All right, next thing to do on the chore list is to fill up the greenhouses. So we'll go ahead and do that right now. And then we need to move product around so that we can keep producing goods. I feel like we're at a turning point soon financially here. I mean, we've been doing really good and progressing pretty fast, but I think I think it's gonna start moving faster. I just feel it. Uh, wood planks, we gotta move. Water's full there. And okay, let's move a little bit farther and I think we'll be able to, yeah, there it goes, fill up the flowers as well. So we'll take the tanker back, get the semi-trailer to get the planks and the flowers moved. And I don't know if we'll sell the planks. I'm also looking into some productions for that trying to make a wise decision, but we don't have the money for that yet. That was destined to happen. I want you flip. There we go. Well, how do I add eh, a little mishap there? So what we're going to do, we put everything away in here, but we're going to take out all the flowers and make sure that those get put in here. And then we'll also get the mushrooms. Very good. All right. Time to take this in and get it sold. We need a road this way too. All right. Another day, another selling event. See, they are selling without unloading them, so we can just do that and see it all go away. Very nice. Put us back at $77,000. And at this point, I think what we're going to do, we'll check on the food for the cows, and then we'll check on how much wood we need to replenish the sawmill. After that, we'll go ahead and jump to November so we can do that harvest. Not much to do. Don't really have enough money to buy another plot of land, and this other area... Not 100% sure I want to expand and put a farm on it yet or a field on it yet. Let's take a look over here. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So if we drive to the end of our property line here, we started a field in these rocks. 
it would only go to about right here. So I don't think that would be worth it, especially with all the debris in the way. Uh, not sure what we're going to do with this land, but maybe when we, if we ever buy that plot next to it, we can expand that way. But let's go ahead and put this away. We'll check on the food for the cows and make it really quick to, to be November here. The pigs seem to be good. 100,000 there. The calves could use a little bit. They're 25% of the way to pu puberty. Reproduction, we got 20% of the way. So it's slow moving, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Now let's check on the sawmill. Sawmill has 11,000, so we could do with a couple trees. Let's head on back to the main farm and get that taken care of. I'd like to take this moment to thank everybody who's subscribed and welcome all the new people to the channel. We hit 5,000 recently. Extremely speechless when I look at the numbers. Never thought we would get the channel to this point and Really got to thank each and every one of you that subscribed and, and been watching these videos. I uh, couldn't do it without you, and I'm I'm seriously blown away. Thank you. Oh, I don't think we own that tree. Really looking forward to these harvests. We haven't done many on this playthrough yet. 14,000. Let's do one more just to... It would be nice to get enough to not really worry about it for the rest of this episode. I think if we sneak back here, we should be able to get a couple right here that is not on our property. This one is barely, barely on our property. Is it in there? Nope. Done a couple trees at this point and it looks like 21,000. Gosh, probably need to do two more. Let's do two more. All right, let's see if we got these two free enough. I think so. They're just pulling real slow. Some heavy ones. I always forget how to do this. Control M or is it? Okay. All right, 32,000 should definitely get us through a couple months. So let's go ahead and take a nap. All right, it's uh, November now. We're quickly busting through our chores, getting everything sold that we can. And we got the planks already put into storage. So money's looking good. Finally got a little bit of money again. And we'll get the greenhouses all full. And finally get to harvest our second field. I'm super interested in the soybeans. I want to do that first. I think I would be smart. It's a, I think it's a little bit larger and we can start prepping it for the next crop a lot quicker since we don't have straw from that. And then we can do the wheat. Going to be a little bit of a busy, busy time. Let's go ahead and get this lowered, turned on here and the yield will be interesting. Let's see how we do produce here. It's yellow, which isn't ideal. Turning green a little bit. We'll have to see if that was the soil type that caused that or if we didn't prep it all the way, but it's filling up pretty quick at 10% already. Not bad. This will be a very challenging field for workers to help. We might have to do most of this ourselves. Course play could probably pull it off. Exciting times. This is going to be a good amount of money. There we go. We got some nice green here. So the soil type definitely is better, but that's that's promising. About half full already. I got a comment reminding us to look in the used market. So I just thought of that right now. We're going to do that. Uh, nothing today that we really need. It's only 35% off for this fence. Ah, I don't see us needing it. Let's keep continuing, but we got to remember to keep checking that. We are full. All right, well, let's get this prepped here, and we'll have to head out and get a green cart. Gosh, this area looks and feels exactly how I imagined when we placed these fields. That nice trees separating the two and the nice road in the, in the middle. I, I dig it. Not too bad. Our second load here. While that's loading up, I thought we would take a look at the yield chart here. And we can see we got some areas of green. Let's go back to the soil type. Yeah, that's right. We got the clay in here. Not the best soil types for this playthrough so far. Ouch. Cattle Ranch is struggling. Well, a rainstorm has hit, and uh, I'm just not sure if it's going to rain hard enough for us to stop harvesting, but we'll find out here. It's just sprinkling right now. We're so close to being done with this field. This is the worst thing that could have happened right now. Yep, it is. Okay, let's go ahead and shut her off. I'm checking the weather. It's going to be for a little bit, so I think the best thing to do is get this grain out of yeah because an open tank there open hopper so let's get this put into the silo before it gets too wet oh 
almost lost control there. Damaging the field a little too much. So let's go ahead and best time for a lunch break, I guess. Able to sneak it in there. With a good amount of the field harvested, we have 16,000 liters already, which isn't bad. Definitely will be a field that I think will expand later on when we have bigger equipment. I'm gonna get this closer to the field and prepped. And once the rain disappears and the field dries out a little bit, hopefully it doesn't get too bad to where we have to lose a crop, but we'll find out. All right, so I think we're going to be okay here. We took a nice long break. It's a little about 1.30 now. We're getting back to work on the farm here. Still a little overcast. Hopefully that was it for the storm. We'll go ahead and get a worker on that and get the grain cart back. Just about done with this field. And then we'll get going on the wheat field. It should be, you know, just, a, oh, we're gonna, it's gonna be late when we get done. All right, the soybean harvest is all done. We're gonna, you know, real quickly enable swath on this one and get started on the wheat. Not a bad harvest of soybeans. We'll have to empty that so we can start using the grain car on this harvest. The rainstorm definitely got in our way, but I think we're recovering pretty good. This field's not as big as the soybean field. It's close, so it shouldn't take as long. But we do want to start prepping the soybean field for the next crop. And I think we're going to do corn. So that means we need to look into a planter and possibly a cultivator. Looking at the final numbers for the soybean harvest, we got 19,000 liters. Eventually, that will be $71,000 worth of soybeans when we sell it at its peak. We also have that wheat in there from last time. So we'll be adding to that now. We gotta decide if we're gonna get chickens and keep some of the wheat or sell that next time it's at peak price, which is probably in a month or two. It's already full. This is a good sign. But well, we spent $119,000 on this planter, fertilizer setup, and then where did the cultivator go? I don't see it. Oh, there wasn't room for it to spawn. There it is. And we'll get the John Deere going. We'll have to cultivate first and then we can hook up the planter and fertilizer setup there. Not the biggest setup here, but it was about the biggest we could get for what we're pulling, so it shouldn't be too bad. We'll definitely upgrade this later on, but financially you can see we, we just about ran out of cash by doing that. And it looks like, oh, it's already full again. But we're gonna go ahead and set this up on course play and we'll let that do its thing while we tend to the harvest. So we'll have to cultivate that, stone it, lime it, plant it, fertilize it. There's a lot to do to that field next to us. And I'm hoping to get at least the cultivating done today. And then in December, we can do the rest. And the same with this field. And probably cut the grass too. It's gonna be a busy December. It's getting dark very fast. Some things I'm thinking about before the next harvest. I definitely want to sell and upgrade this harvester. It's a gorgeous mod, but it's done its use for us, and I think it's time to save up some money for that next. Cause see, I just went to empty the grain cart and come back, and it was already full. Just the capacity is not great, and the speed of unloading, oh, it's so slow. Let's check on the cultivating over here. Looking good. An interesting pattern that it chose, but it's, it's getting it done. Got some lights on at this point, or almost going to have to have lights on get that done that's going to be all we're going to be able to do today we're going to finish this harvest and then it's going to be nighttime very soon still unloading it's so slow well the harvest is finally done and boy did it get dark fast cultivating is almost done over there they just got a few more rows to do yield was about the same on both so not too bad but we got a little bit left but lots of money in inventory. Very excited. We got this filled up. Probably a little bit left in the trailer. We'll get this dropped off and then we will finish the cultivating and get prepped for December. Hello, it is December on the farm. We got our flowers and mushrooms all prepped. We moved the pallets already. We'll need to take care of the cows a little bit. One of the things we've neglected at this point was their water and the mature cows, they have ran out. So after we get this these goods sold, we'll have to head back and take care of that. But for now, let's hop out of the semi. Sitting at $73,000 after that. We might wanna start looking at the prices and see if they're good to sell or not for those. But we got the harvester over here. We talked about wanting to upgrade, and I think right now we're going to fully repair these and repaint them. And let's do this first. Now we're at 66,000, so when we sell this stuff, 78,000, then we get 40,000 back for this one. We're at 118. 
stockpile a little bit of money, but we do want to save for a nice harvester by the time we need to harvest next time. So we'll keep that in mind for a while. And then next we want to get back and put this trailer away and switch to the water tank and get the cows fed, cows fed, and fill up the cows water as well as we need to make sure the greenhouses are all set for water for the month. And then we're gonna get back to stone picking on the field and picking up some straw. All right, I got the valve open. Let's go ahead and start refilling. While that's going, we'll head, go ahead and head over to the John Deere here. Oh, someone got organized. And we'll head over to the stone picker. We're gonna get them going on picking stones so that we can then lay down some lime and then plant the seed. We're gonna do corn in that field. So, how did you get like this? That's weird. All right, we'll get them going on course play. We'll probably take the, pick this up later on after we pick up all the straw. We'll see, but it should do a good job picking up the stone. There are weeds still here, but uh, we're gonna have to start taking care of that this, this harvest or this cycle of harvest. And gosh, with that money, let's check the used market. Well, that would be fun. We have no use for that. This, yeah, that's cool. And then just a truck, so nothing this month. All right, let's head back to the water tank. And I think we're going to need to completely fill this up. So I assume this is going to stop here in a second. We'll have to reopen it. There it is. I got 17,000 liters, but let's go ahead and hop back over here. Reopen that and start filling up again. While that's going, we'll prep the field boss on the baler because we do want to get that rolling as soon as possible. But those cows are thirsty. So we definitely want to, before we start baling, get them full of water again. All right, that's all prepped. Let's head back to the water tank and get this taken care of. We're gonna prioritize the adults here. And I think it takes 32,000 liters, so we'll have to refill this a couple times this morning. If I remember where the spot is. Oh, just gotta keep pulling forward. There we go. There, thirsty cows. Oh, I have a feeling these baby cows aren't gonna be babies for much longer. Eating our grass. Good job. All right, that filled up and it should give us a little bit left to top off the greenhouses. The baby cows are not going through water as fast as the adult cows. The calves don't need as much water. Grass field is ready. Oh man, busy, busy December. We gotta get moving. All right, those are full. Go ahead and put the tanker away and get back to work on the straw. Go ahead and grab the bale trailer while we're out here. One of the things I was thinking about adjusting on this series is some of the chores that we do in the mornings when the months start, like selling and moving goods around, I think we'll do that before the recordings, kind of like I did now. We'll still show the sales that we do just to keep everyone updated on that. But for the most part, I think we're going to try to speed up some of the tedious things that we do every single episode so that it doesn't get too repetitive. And things like grass, like we don't do a lot of time lapses or long time lapses on this series, so I don't think the repetitiveness of, of, you know, cutting grass and picking that up is, is too bad. But let me know. Love any feedback on this series. Absolutely, I'm loving this playthrough. But just, you know, feedback's always always great. Yeah, let's get these the straw picked up. And, we'll, you know, we brought the trailer out, so we could have done follow me on that. But we'll, we'll pick them up. It shouldn't be too many and too time consuming. And then after that, we'll finish the stonework, get some lime ordered. You have to go pick that up, and you are blocked. Why are you blocked? Oh, just barely. You can't drive around trees? Oh, so blocked that you quit, huh? How do we do nearest? Will that work? Let's take a look at the course. Yeah, that seems right. Okay, I don't think we missed any, as you were. Well, this is a first. The stone picker is full. Was it somewhat full when we started? I'm gonna have to look at the footage. We'll get it unloaded and get it back to working, but that's... Kind of exciting. Um, I know it's kind of weird that I like all these stones, but I want all the lime, so we don't have to buy lime, even though lime's not that expensive. Back to bailing. Well, it appears we might need to upgrade. Oh, the field boss has done us well, but we, we need more tractors. We need money for that, for the type of tractors we need. Oh, uphill struggle. 
I might have to just loop around and do downhill for all of these passes. Damaging the field, my goodness. All right, all done with the baling and the stone picking still going. So we'll get these bales picked up. We'll probably take over at that at that point. And I don't think the field boss can do the cultivating over here. I guess we could, I think we can handle the lime. Yeah, let's do that. And it looks like 23 bales was the magic number this time around. So we'll get these dropped off at the storage. Looks like we have 4,000 liters still in lime and we're gonna head over to the lime production and get that topped off as well. And check on the stone picker and see if we have any, you know, how much we have in there to produce even more lime. And hopefully we don't have to buy any today. That would be nice. Went ahead and finished the stone picking ourselves. And at least on this field, we'll have to do the other field as well, but we'll get this dumped in produced into lime then we'll lime these fields start planting this one while we pick the stones on the other one we still got to cut the grass yet but another 1700 liters should be sitting pretty good on lime oops no 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 don't waste product we meant to open the lid yeah we'll open the lid we'll get over here and hopefully the field boss doesn't struggle but we'll see be interesting to see how far 7000 liters will take us now and away we go so off the beginning here only 1.75 tons being used so it's not as bad as it was but the number is still dropping pretty fast i'm have a feeling we're gonna have to buy some lime will we have enough lime let's see 200 liters to go and a little stretch here i'm hoping we do have enough lime if not we'll have a little spot that isn't treated and i think that'll be okay but it looks like we're gonna make it unbelievable 58 liters to spare very nice all right let's switch machines we'll get the stone picking going and then with the john deere we'll hook up to the cedar and fertilizer and start planting some corn it's one o'clock got some time left in the day hopefully we have enough to uh, get this second field all prepped and we'll probably plant that in january just to spread them out a little bit you know i'm thinking there's not going to be much to pick up here because we're not cultivating but we'll find out. Yeah, there's probably not gonna be many stones that rose, but I know we missed a few, so we'll just let that do its thing. We'll head back, we'll drop off the lime spreader, or the spreader, because we can do fertilizer with it, it's not just for lime, and then hook up to the new machine and probably have to head over to the store to get enough product. We'll check around here. Looks like we do have fertilizer here. Hopefully it's enough. Let's get all the seeds we can in here first grab that bag get a little bit closer it's not really happy with the distance there but this is the wrong type of fertilizer isn't it it is all right let's head to the store all right let's go ahead and say hi and get some solid fertilizer ordered here we'll do the bags and we'll go with the helm pro it's not going to hold all of it but we're going to buy two bags just to have them we'll have to come pick them up later we'll fill what we can in here and then possibly if we're running out during planting we will then come back and get the rest and it held both of them to my surprise so let's get ho head home and start planting we have corn selected already so that's perfect now, this is exciting first time using a planter on this series we're getting corn in the ground and fertilizer at the same time you can see the U or the map on the left is showing up green for the nitrogen which is exactly what we're looking for yeah very very exciting this corn's gonna look sweet once it starts germinating and growing and oh yeah exciting times well about halfway done maybe a little more than halfway done with this field and we've ran out of seeds so we're gonna go refill that and the stone picking's coming along good did it just fill up or is it turning around it's turning around all right very good had to get another bag of seed delivered all full very nice let's head back get this done Corn is all planted, very, very nice. Some stones left over, not too bad. We'll get those next go around. Speaking of stones, yeah, not too much getting picked up here. That's kind of what I figured. I'm wondering if after we do the seeding, if that will happen, what that will change. Gotta figure out what we're gonna plant there or seed there, but we can do that next month. And it looks like we have some snow coming in. So we gotta get moving. I at least wanna get this field cut with the grass cut here and then later on in january is when we can bale it all up everything unfolded here lower down and should be what we want let's see oh yeah 
Oh, yeah. There we go. Front's getting cut, too. All right. And again, we did this ourselves last time. It doesn't take very long. We could do swaths, but I'm not... I need to go look at inventory to see if we're going to do hay or silage this time around. For some reason, my brain is not wanting to remember what we decided. So, yeah, we'll get this all cut ourselves and then regroup. Well, all the mowing's done. Very, very nice feeling. Let's go ahead and sneak in here so we can put this away. And like I said, we'll pick that up in, Jul in January. It looks like some snow's coming. Hopefully not too much in January where we're still able to get things done. We'll go ahead and park the John Deere and then go check on the stonework. 131 liters. That might have been a waste of an effort. I don't know. Go ahead and get this dropped off, though. And then I'm going to check on the animals and the greenhouses and all of that before we start next episode and fast forward to January. Hello, everybody. We have a nice load of flowers and mushrooms to go sell to start January. And there's a new building. I don't know if we've talked about that yet. We'll stop by that on the way back. But let's go get these sold and see where we're sitting financially. This should be a pretty good chunk of money to start this new year in Cattle Ranch. Look at that. Over $100,000. Ooh, hopefully this snow disappears because I wouldn't mind expanding. We got some other things to sell today, too, but let's start heading back. The Silver Run Market has come to Cattle Ranch, and we'll have to figure out if we got goods to sell them. Another place to sell things. My assumption at this point is we could do stuff with the planks. We could turn them into maybe picture frames, maybe dog bowls, like water bowls or something, or food bowls, and sell them here. We'll look into that today as well. I want to get used to this and... They probably need to finish designing this area. Yeah. There's a few other things that are good for prices today. So we're going to go ahead and get all our wheat. It's going to take a few trips. Yeah, it's going to take a lot of trips. We might actually upgrade the grain cart here because we're starting to be get a little bit bigger of a farm and we're outgrowing some of this stuff. And gosh, maybe we need some snow removal gear too. This is insane. Yeah, 8,000 per trip's not going to cut it. Let's go ahead and sell this, and then we'll take a look in the shop for what kind of upgrades we can do to this grain cart. We'll get it sold, and there's no real use for it. We're selling all the wheat. We thought about having chickens, but this is Cattle Ranch. Maybe later on we'll get other types of animals once we establish the cattle we want. So just about, yeah, just over 10,000 for that. Let's go ahead and head on in here and see about getting this sold. And we'll go ahead and do all the things here. Repaint it, repair it. Got 9,000 for that. How you doing today? Nice. Let's see what you got. Let's first look at the used market here. Don't need... Oh, that would be cool to have. 46% off? What? Why is this so expensive? Base price of this thing is 50,000? Wow. Interesting. How big can you upgrade it? Not much. I don't think there'll be much use for that. It's pretty pretty cool mod, but this thing, yeah, that's that's ridiculous. Okay. Let's look in our trailers here. Looking for one with a pretty good capacity. And for comparison, the one we had says it was eight meters, which ended up being 8,000 liters. This one seems pretty impressive for the price. It'd be 35,000 liters it should be able to hold and $41,000. I think we'll go with this. Grime, is that how you say it? Grime, Grimmy, Grime? I think it's Grim, Grim, Grime. Let me know. It has a nice cover on it, which is always nice. This will be good. This will help with harvesting as well, so we won't have to make as many trips back and forth to the silo. Come on, snow. Hopefully 9 o'clock this snow goes away. All right, let's get the cover opened up here, and let's see if we have... It might be a little more than one load of this. Oh, no, we'll get it all here. Very nice. And then we'll have to take a look at what else we can sell. I think cheese is at a good price, too, so we'll have to get what we have of that and get it sold. It's a little bit of extra cash to help us out here in January. Oh no, we will need two trips, 35,000. Yeah, and then there'll be a little left over. Oh, I didn't want to drive in the grass, but the conditions are a little tough to turn around. That sun needs to get a little bit warmer today. Otherwise, we're not gonna be able to do any farm work. You know, I've never used this mod, so I'm hoping that this doesn't take forever to sell the grain. Kind of looks like a small gate here. We'll see. Yeah. That's what I was concerned about. That's okay. We got time. We need the snow to go away. 
Look at that money increase. I wanted to just check. Folding's not allowed, covered. See if there's a different tipping type. And it doesn't look like there is. So that was 16,000-ish, almost 17,000 for that first little bit. We'll get the rest sold here. Could we have drove back and forth faster with the smaller trailer? Hmm. Thoughts. Random thoughts. It'll definitely be nice while we're harvesting. But another 27 plus, so yeah, another, yeah, almost 30,000 there. Very, very nice. All right, the last 10,000 is here. This shouldn't take as long to sell. According to the internet, it's pronounced Grim. We're sitting at $252,000. And we got some cheese to sell, which I think is another like 20 grand we'll get. Uh, let's check. Yeah, cheese is at 32,000. The other items, I'm not sure anything else is worth selling right now. Let's take a deeper look here. Planks, definitely not. Um, milk, we're sending over to the cheese factory, so we'll need to move that again. Soybeans are July. Slurry isn't really worth much. Uh, the grass, hay, straw, we want to keep. So I think, yeah, I think that'll do it. The cheese will be the only other thing. And then we'll be sitting close to $300,000 and hopefully 10 o'clock hour is when it finally gets warm enough to melt this snow so we can get some farm work done. All right, let's put the cover back on this bad boy. And I just don't really want to jam this in here because it'll be hard to get equipment out. We'll put it next to the garage for now. We need to get more storage. That might be part of our spending this winter. And for now, we'll put the tractor away because there's not much we can do with it while the conditions are the way they are. But we will go get the semi and the trailer the pallet trailer and get the cheese loaded up. I don't know if it's really worth it. If we need more money, we can come back and get these, but I think we're doing pretty good. We'll let that stuff just stockpile. We gotta take care of the planks here too. You guys are about to grow up, aren't you? No? Okay. And this is really fun to drive in these conditions. Yeah, lost it. All right, got those picked up and then I think we should have one more at the cheese factory or the bakery, or what is this called? It's a dairy at the dairy. So we'll get this one here and then we'll head on over and see what kind of money we make. Should be about 32,000, uh, maybe a little less. Oh, we are in a predicament. All right, we're here with our four pallets, five pallets of cheese. I think it's about five. Yeah, and they're almost gone. Did we hit, miss the spot? There it is. All right, $184,000 to our name. Made about $32,000 with the extra environmental bonus there. Oh, almost $34,000 actually. $33,000, geez, math is hard. I think my mood might be matching the weather right now. It's like having flashbacks of winter as it's <sighs> summer starting to come to an end. It's making me kind of sad. We got trees changing colors here where I live already. Yeah. Maybe that's why. We'll get we'll get pepped up here once the sun finally does its job and melts this, but uh, now let's... We gotta find some stuff to do. We'll take care of the planks. The, I guess we could check the food here. Still looking good for the the ca uh, the calves. The calves still have plenty of food. And eh, water's looking good here. Yeah, food's looking good. Doing your things, cattle. Start reproducing soon, please. So one of the things that I want to do is now look at one of these productions. We got some money. It is one of the Platinum Edition productions. You can find it. That doesn't really match, though. Banister and framing. We're going to waste a little bit of money, but it'll be for the better here. We're going to place that down and see how it kind of messes with the terrain. And then we're going to sell it. So we lost about $1,000 there, but it was part of the terraforming. And yeah, so this is what we didn't want to see happen. Now we're going to go ahead and work on flattening it out and see how this approach works for getting this. We might push it back a little bit more. So let's go ahead and level. And I thought you could like set your level and then do it, but I guess we'll do it this way. And gosh, this is eating money. Let's use the soften tool now. Yeah, th this area, and unfortunately we are removing the snow, but I think it'll be gone soon anyways. We'll soften this a little bit. And then if my theory is right, we should be able to switch back to the level tool here and kind of just push this back level to about right here. 
soften all of it a little bit more. Let's make that bigger. There we go. And they'll probably have to do that again. But let's go ahead back into productions. Yeah, eating cash, but that's that's part of the deal here. And then I think I want to put place it like right there. Yep. And then, well, not as good as we thought it was gonna be, but we can we can fix this. And that's not too bad. Not too bad at all. And I think what we're gonna do is go into a little time lapse of finishing out this little area. Wow, this is a snow day for sure. I mean, it's just, it's too cold to melt the snow, apparently. What? Oh yeah, the terrain here is why it's so hard to pick up these pallets. It's not what I meant to do, but that'll work. Oh man, this terrain is tricky to work in. Probably not the safest thing to do to do two of these without any straps connecting them, but uh, this should work. We'll get a couple over here, get this production started. And I think this will end up being a good way to make extra money from the planks. If I did the math right, it should definitely help out. And this should be the spot. Not liking it. Uh-oh. What? I thought it took planks. It does. It takes long planks. Oh, no. Okay. Gosh, I don't know. Don't know if this is what we want to do, but uh, this is what's going to happen. We're turning into a a logging series, apparently. And some, yeah, terrain fixing will be done here. And this will be what we, you know, we can take real advantage of this, actually. So, unfortunately, planks don't get put into this one to be turned into long planks. Uh, it'll be trees. Oh, man. Oh, man, we made mistakes. All right, so what we're going to do is get this going. And look at the production here. The input is trees. And then we can get long planks from this. We can also get prefab walls, which make a lot of money. So what we'll do first is we'll focus on... Gosh, let's look at this area. How much more can we fit in here if we go full into it? Oh, yeah, right here. There is a flooring, I think, was interesting. Where is that at? Or even like a little wood turning here? Yeah. And then let's check this. Let's see what that takes in. That's the wrong button. That's not what you want. This one. Planks long, planks long. Okay, so that's that's getting undone. Give me back my money. And we're gonna give ourselves the other 40,000 back. I got it. The icons are throwing me off here on the productions. These look like long planks, but planks look like that. Okay. I think this, and I'm standing in it. Oh, okay, can we get out? I think this is the one that I was looking for where, you know, we're broke now. Totally changed our plans. Where this one takes in planks and long planks. So what we're going to do to make floor tiles, which let's make sure that was even, was that even worth it? Cattle Ranch is changing, guys. I apologize. This is, I'm just going with the flow. Nothing's planned. Yeah, that's decent money. So we can put planks in here, we can get this all cleaned up, and the snow doesn't seem to be going away, so I don't think we're doing any any farming today. Let's just make sure we're not crazy. Yep, planks can go in there. And we'll have to see. I don't I don't think we're gonna need like all of these planks, so we should be able to still sell some planks. So that's going. Let's go ahead and shut this off now. So the main thing we need to do is that production can't get turned on yet. This production can't get turned on yet. This one needs to get populated so we can start producing long planks. 
so that we can start sending long planks here and there. And then we'll also have, yeah, we could do distribution as well. But let's get the John Deere and the winch and get some more wood. We're going to have two sawmills to populate at this point. And I don't know where it is. Where is the winch? Where the heck is it? Gone? I'm going to have to go look at the last recording and see where I dropped this thing off at. Oh, jeez. I think what we're going to do in this area is take these small trees and we can carry them by hand. And then get some of the big trees in this area. And eventually, now that we're going this deep into the... Now that we're going this deep into the woodworking in the lumberjack world here. Oh, look at the snow. Of course, once we change our plans, it clears up. It's only 11 o'clock. We'll go ahead and get some of these moved. And then, yeah, we'll get this populated, get the new sawmill up and running. We we're kind of running out of money. I'm going to get this area completely decorated. We're going to spend a good time doing that later on. And this is, this is going to look awesome, though. So then we'll get some of these big trees out of the way. Maybe claim some of this land for making a field, potentially. Yeah, that might not be a bad idea, actually. Yeah, so the, the idea is that we're going with all of this sawmilling and, and lumberjack and, and, you know, logging. This whole logging process to really start supplementing our money to speed up our cattle operation. So we got, you know, a little bit here. Let's go ahead and look at the production here. So we want to make sure we're making, until we get this really populated, we want to make sure we're just making log, long, long planks. So we'll get that going and fill it up a little bit more and rejoin you. So that should be a lot better to drive up on now. It is still pretty steep. We'll have to play around with that a little bit more. Yeah, a little steep, but we want to, yeah, we got everything going. We'll probably turn distribution on eventually. Let's take a look here. We have 16,000 liters in this sawmill. In the other sawmill, we have 12,000 liters. We'll have to get more of that, but we have lots of planks. So we'll see what the capacity is. All of this is going to get cleaned up. It's going to look better when we get done. I promise. I just don't want to run out of money yet, and I don't want to cheat it. So let's get this put away, and we want to prioritize. I think I want to prioritize getting the new field or the field back there that we limed last episode planted over picking up the grass. So we can pick up the grass later. So, you know, pretty late into this episode, but we're finally going to get some farm work going here. And we are going to have a delivery of seed and fertilizer. Oh, not that much. Do two bags of fertilizer, and then we'll do the same with seed just to have them. Because this next few episodes, we're going to be expanding the farm for sure. At least the field section, I should say. All right, so that's a good start. We're going to do barley. We need to keep producing straw. I wanted to kind of mix up the field types. Uh, I know barley is pretty similar to wheat, but... Eventually, when we get more fields, we get more things, we'll be able to do more different crop types. And we should have corn over here that needs sprayed as well. Um, fertilizer, I think, is good over here, right? Fertilizer's good. It just needs sprayed. Okay. Let's get going, finally, with some farming. Got some herbicide purchase. We'll get this filled up and we're going to get this rolling prior to finishing planting the barley because I want to get that going on a worker just to get the corn all prepped because the next thing I want to do is get this grass all baled up because we still need to lime and fertilize that before it starts growing too much. And do we got any long planks yet? Not quite yet, but we'll get this going and then we'll jump back in the John Deere to finish harvesting or finish planting. And we're almost done. We probably are going to need to get more seed here in a minute. So that's still lowered. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So a couple more passes down here and then just the smaller area. So this is pretty close and then we'll start wind growing. Uh, actually, I want to look first. I can't remember what we decided on that grass. So we'll look at our capacity or our inventory 
and then figure out what we need to prioritize for the cattle feed. There we go. Barley is all planted. Very nice. Be nice to do a different crop. I mean, you know, it's not much different than wheat, like I mentioned, but it is different. And it'll still give us straw that we need. And it looks like we might be just about done. Yeah, spraying as well. Pretty good timing there. Oop. Was thinking through things and I remembered we did want to do hay this time around. That's why we didn't cut it in swaths. This opened up. This shouldn't take long either with this good sized tooling that we have. These implements are huge. Yeah. That lowered down. Gosh, I think this is only like my second time, maybe third time using this. It is sweet though. Nice size tether. Very nice. Well, the sun does set pretty early in January, so it'll be interesting to see how long we can go with daylight. I'm hoping to get all these bailed up. I don't think we'll get as far as repairing this field, but let's go ahead and get this rolling. The tedding is all done. We're going to hook up to the baler and get this all bailed. Got the field boss doing the wind rowing for us, making lots of progress here. Looking good. Well, it's been a very eventful day on the farm. Started out pretty slow with all the snow. We got some productions going. Looking forward to having a little bit of extra cash eventually so that we can finish detailing and decorating that production area we got pretty close to the house. And I think at some point, I think we're going to move the farmyard. I don't like it as close to the production buildings. I think I want it closer to the main road. We'll see. Let me know what you think about that. I kind of want to do a, you know, I, I, honestly, I want to get to the point where we save up like 500, maybe $700,000 and can just do a full on farm build. Yeah, I think that's the plan, but that's gonna do it for this episode. We're gonna finish bailing this up, picking up the bales, putting them in the container or the, the shed over there by the cattle. And next time we're going to start making a new field in our area that we cleared out. We might clear out a few more trees for that. Potentially might sell enough to buy another plot of land too. We got some time before the next harvest. We do have to keep in mind that we need to save up for a baler and a new header for the, or both types of headers, so. Hello, we're getting started here in February and we have some planks to pick up. The large planks, the thicks like three have spawned. I never took care of the ones over here last episode, so I have a feeling we ran out of space. We're gonna get them picked up right now and distribute them a little bit, I think. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot in here. Eee, okay, let's see how the capacity's doing. I'm probably going to need more trees. 8,000 here, about 9,000. Ah, and then 12,000 over here. So we're probably still good. We got three that we can send. Oh, we'll have to figure out how to distribute those. But we'll go ahead, take some of these planks over because both, oh, don't drive in the field. Oh, I damaged some crops. Oh, pay attention. So we have, we have some money that might be enough to finish smoothing everything out here which is is desperately needed we'll go ahead and we'll drop all of these off here they don't they don't go there gosh i forgot again we're gonna drop them all off at the flooring company needs them so i don't think we'll be able to burn through all the planks that we can produce so we'll probably sell a lot we'll just go ahead and fill this place up and i think they might be at capacity already planks ten thousands all they can hold let's see yeah so we need to get the long planks over here, and we also need to get the long planks at the art gallery or art company here. Art accessories. Looks like 100,000 is what they will hold. So we'll go ahead and take the rest of these planks for now to storage. There's some changes that I definitely want to do. I started talking about the farmyard or the, and the house, not feeling like it's at the right place. And I think what we're gonna want is to save up some money and redesign this this layout here because these goods that i'm taking over here is just you know it's doable but i feel like it's just too far i feel like we need to be a little bit closer to move things around a little bit easier and not get stuck between two vehicles oh geez so yeah long-term plans but we got a lot of planks that we'll be able to sell in july because we won't be able to go through all of them in the flooring store. But let's go ahead and we'll get on the field boss here. Actually, we're done with this. Let's put this away. Then we'll get on the field boss, move those long planks around. I think I'll give two to the 
art accessories and one to the flooring for now, and then we can like do the opposite the next day if we're gonna produce three a day. So that's good, getting that up and running. It'll take a little bit before we make our money back from that, but not too stressed out about that. We got a lot of money incoming, a lot of planks still that we can sell, and we you can see we're at 118,000 from just selling the cheese, flowers, and mushrooms this morning. Very good. That dropped off. Switch over to the water tank here, do all the rest of our chores, and then we're gonna get to, oh man, the grass field needs plowed. We damaged it a lot, and I mean a lot, last episode. So we're gonna replow that. We might just cultivate it. So we might be buying a new implement today. And then after that, we're gonna make this new field, but I think we're gonna cut down a little more trees so we can do a desirable size of a field and then potentially finish putting concrete in the production area and smoothing that out a little bit. But we'll get the, some of these chores done and regroup. How are they doing food-wise? Good, P puberty's coming soon. Definitely has a nice feel as we run up here. I've just seen these buildings. It'll be nice to get it situated a little bit better and move the farmyard around. Those fields in the back, I don't know. We'll have to figure it out. I'll play around with a design in between the next few episodes, and hopefully we'll have enough money by then. I'm definitely planning on having this all done by the end of July, which would be our, you know, the end of our second year on this farm. So look forward to that. Those all are wood chips. There we go. We got the first one. I don't know why I went with the middle one first. But let's go ahead, since this was the first one, I forget which one I said I was going to give this to first, but this one only needs these long planks, so I think it would make sense to, to put them here first and not run into the building. There we go. Very nice. And let's go ahead and get that activated, if we can remember where the trigger was. Ah, Ran the wrong way. So let's activate... I don't know which one we want more. Let's activate both, and we will have them spawn. Oops, spawning, spawning. And we'll see how long it takes to get a few of those, but I wanna get both these productions up and running and hopefully, hopefully uh, this one sawmill's good enough to produce all of these long planks for us. And now we want, oh, so we can produce both. Oh, we don't need the long ones. We can just use planks. So let's go ahead and Interesting. All right, so the long planks are going to go to the one next door moving forward. Um, I wanted to change the output type to spawning. I just enjoy that more. And yeah, we'll get whatever we can produce. But moving forward, everything long plank will go to the art factory or art accessories, which will actually help us out long term, I think. And I think we're good to start our farm work. Got water in there. Yeah, everything's ready. You can see we really did damage this field. And I need to get the mod that is causing that deactivated. I just I just haven't yet. So what I want to do is we'll grab the John Deere and the cultivator and we'll cultivate the grass field. But then while that's going on, we'll have a worker take care of that and we can start prepping the new field ourselves. And now that we have money, we might expand. We'll play that by ear. We'll see what happens. All right, we got that going. And then we will replant grass. Well, we'll have to do everything in there. We'll have to pick up the rocks, pick up the stones, lime it, and then replant the grass with fertilizer. So hopefully we're able to get all that done today so we can start, you know, get that one step closer to getting our grass field back. And I'm assuming this is gonna be the same as the cornfield where doing cultivating is gonna really bring up a lot of rocks. All right, let's head on over here and our field, I wanna to go to the edge of the field here or the property line. 38 probably will be the next one that we buy. So we'll drive right about here. I'm gonna place the tractor there and everything this direction is gonna get cut down. So that'll be our first step here. And we'll just walk forward and just cut everything down and then we'll get it moved evenly distributed between the two sawmills. And we've done this so many times on camera, I'm gonna just, we'll cut ahead for it real quick. I kind of wish these forests were like dynamic and there's little saplings that grow every year. So you don't have to replant like real life and just have them grow slow. It'd be kind of cool. Can we just take a second and appreciate the frost on the corn? Man, that's insane. All right, got it all done. We're going to drop this off. I don't think we're gonna cut the grass I think we're gonna just plow, and I think that'll be a wise decision. We'll put this away, we'll grab the plow. We just, we're, we're doing so good financially, I don't think we need to penny push and 
you know, cut every piece of grass and turn it into silage just to maximize money. We got plenty of money incoming. And it looks like the cultivator and the John Deere are doing pretty good. So we'll get this hooked up and hopefully we didn't move this stuff too close to where we're kind of stuck. Yeah, not bad. Okay. But yeah, lots of rocks. We can see lots of stones already as it's done the headlands and it's starting to do that back area. But let's go ahead and find that border again and start building this field. And you know what? Let's... Oh, we need maintenance on this first. We probably need to drive and get gas soon. I believe... Is this a workshop? I don't see. I thought it was. Maybe. I don't see any triggers, though. So I guess we will head to the store, get some maintenance done, and fuel as well, and then we'll come back. All right. Going to have to reattach everything, but that's the way it works. Repair 3200. Not too bad. Oh, it didn't disconnect it. Nice. I've had it done that to me in the past. I wonder if that was patched and fixed. That's that's pretty nice. Hi, salesperson. So we have allow fields turned on. We need to get to the, our plot of land that we own. Oh, that's the wrong tree line. We got a ways to go. If you watched our first Rags of Riches, the New Land series, you'll know that we kind of stopped growing and kind of lost a little bit of interest um, for myself at least. So we're gonna try to keep this one going and make keeping it interesting and keep expanding is my plan. So, you know, obviously as we go, we're gonna hit a point eventually where it's just not entertaining anymore. And we get things so established that we just we're just rinsing and repeating and constantly doing the same things and not growing the farm and at that point is when we will probably end the series but yeah i just want to kind of mention that my my plan is to just keep expanding this area and keep growing one of the things where i think we're missing the mark that i set out for is the detail that we're trying to establish in these series with the buildings and so i want to potentially fix that here soon and that's why i've been talking about finishing the detail on the industrial area possibly moving the farmyard i really want this to be a beautiful build when we get done uh those are the goals obviously the cattle farm and expanding that and getting a lot of cattle i wanted to set a goal of like 10,000 or a thousand i forgot a tree but i decided not to do that because i just wanted to let this series kind of grow naturally so we'll see let me know if you have any thoughts on that and this is where the end of this field's going to go until we buy plot 38 and get rid of the rest of those trees so this is another field that we're gonna lots of rocks we might regret it but i thought it would be interesting to potentially build around that so yeah we'll get this outline done like we've done many times in the past and we'll show you what we came up with so there's the initial field layout. Like these rocks will make it interesting. I don't, I don't know if we'll regret it. We probably will, but um, I thought it was fun to try. So yeah, we'll get the rest of this plowed. We'll keep track of the cultivator and get the stone picking going as soon as we can on that field and keep progressing and give you some updates along the way. The third tractor would be nice right now. It'd be nice to get somebody started on the stone picking on this one so we can keep progressing because we're going to run into needing the stone picker on both fields at the same time here. But, you know, we can only get done what you can get done in a month, so we'll get what we can and keep going. Plowing is going good. These rocks are gonna make very interesting dynamic here, I think. It's like, if I haven't mentioned already, this is my first time really dealing with them this way and not avoiding them. And I'm kind of excited about that, so it'll, it'll mix things up a little bit. I think it'll be nice. Let me know what you think. Should we have, you know, avoided the field around these rocks and should we update it long term when we expand to just kind of bypass them let me know so the cultivating still going on and we are working on picking the stones here in the new field progressing pretty nice so it's not even noon yet so we're doing good we might be able to get a lot done today and we got some long planks we can move too i think we can wait till tomorrow but i did notice another one did spawn so that's starting to produce pretty good and Maybe we will get more than three a day. I don't. Maybe it was because we started later. I, I'm not sure. Can we just drive over this? Can we? Can we? Can we? No. That was a mistake. Kind of at this point wondering how many of you yelled at the screen when I forgot to get gas when we went to the store. Ah, oh, can't believe we did that. Yeah, these rocks are gonna get annoying. Are these stones in here? Yeah, the big rocks. I think I think we're gonna get really annoyed with those rocks eventually. Don't tell anybody, but I regret 
I regret the field already. Stone picking's done on the first field. We're going to head over, get it started on the grass field, and hopefully not be stuck. There we go. And then we'll finish up that cultivating, scan this field. I think we're going to prioritize the new field today since it takes longer to grow crops than it does to grow grass. Uh, I haven't decided what I want to put in that field yet, though. That'll be coming soon. We'll figure that out. All right, that's going. So we will take over this, lower it back down. Actually, let's go ahead so we stay on the same path here. Set up GPS. There we go. That should do it. Oh, no, it's zero. Whoopsie. Yeah, lots of stones to pick up here. You know, workers are great, but they're so slow. We're getting this done in no time compared to what they were doing. We do have the stone picker with the speed overridden, so it's going a little bit faster. But uphill, it's still struggling, so we should be able to get this done before they get to that line or that lane next. And then we'll go again. We'll scan the field to the left there. We'll spread some lime on it, and I'm thinking canola or something like that. Maybe, yeah, maybe canola or sorghum. Sorghum might be fun. We haven't done that in a while on any of my series. Cultivating is all finished. Looks good. We could have done those little spots, but they still grow grass, so it'll be okay. But to come back to the top anyways. Well, we didn't get as close to the border as I thought we did. That's okay. We'll expand later. Got that done. And what was the button to send those in? Why? Send them on into the laboratory. Hopefully it's not all clay. And most of it's clay. Oh my. Oh my goodness. Are you full already? Look at you. All right. So we know where they're at. They're facing that way. Let's go empty it. We'll bring it back. Why did they miss all that? I'll clean that up. Let's go pick up the lime spreader. And uh, we we'll might have to do a second pass on that we'll, and finish it ourselves. We'll see. And this is just about empty. So we will go get the production turned on. And mm, probably won't be enough, but we'll give it a shot. And it's almost done producing this lime for us. Hopefully we'll get about 2,000 liters. This is a smaller field. We'll give it a shot. It's the first time liming it, so it's probably going to need a lot of product, though. All right, let's deactivate it. Jump in here and refill this. Just over 2,000 like we thought. And this will be interesting. I want to use this as an opportunity to see what course play will do with those rocks. So let's give it a shot. We will do a target position, right? Like that. And field position. Generate one headland. Why not? And enjoy.
like a doofus, I recorded the rest of this on mute. So we'll give you a quick little recap. We did that nice, nice time lapse there to show planting the sorghum and the grass. We got all that done. Limed, it's fertilized. Next month we'll have to spray for weeds, possibly in both areas. I don't think grass grows weeds in this game. But yeah, we'll get all this stuff put away and that's really gonna wrap up this episode. March will be exciting. Gotta figure out what we're gonna do, possibly expand, sell a little more goods. Hello there, how are you doing? We're picking up our cheese. We got the flour sold already. We got the water filled up on all the places that need water, the cows as well as the greenhouses. And look, our babies are grown up. Look at this. And over here, you're gonna be, yeah, you're really sued. You're, you're gonna have babies soon over here. Awesome, yeah, we also got the milk moved over. That's uh, to the, the dairy. So let's get back in. We got some other new things that we're gonna be able to sell for the first time. And let's go take a look at how our productions are doing. And money is actually gonna work here. The The price of these is actually really good in demand. So let's uh, park before we pick those up. These are the floor tiles. And uh, there's a lot here. A little bit more than I thought we would get in one day which I'm not complaining. We got some money. Let's let's do this real quick because that's that's not going to be pretty. Just raise that up a little bit and soften it. Hopefully that helps. We'll see. Let's get back in the car now. That looks a little better, but again, we're saving up money. We're going to do a big session into cleaning all this up. So let's get those put in here. We'll take a left and see what else we got to pick up. We got our picture frames and our easels. Very nice, let's go ahead and throw those in. They're not too heavy. And long planks are looking low here. So we'll get some more long planks from over here. Oh, look at that. I don't think that's gonna fit in there. I'll have to figure out a way to do that. Long planks, we'll have to get, don't ignore me right now. We're gonna probably go up and pick up a forklift that's gonna be dedicated for over here moving forward. Field boss would work, but you know, honestly, there are four long planks left. Let's go ahead and get a couple moved over, but we will be getting a forks forklift today or a front loader. I'm not sure exactly what we're gonna go with. When we get to the store, we'll make that decision. We'll go ahead and get some more of this moved and figure out if we can get our prefab walls into the trailer as well. I don't think we can, but we will try. Oh, we need maintenance on this again? Oh, man. This might be becoming a lawn ornament soon. Look at that. We got two in one. Someone's figuring out the forks, huh? That nice and satisfied there. Jumping in the production, I wanted to make sure that we had just planks activated we want to only do planks in the sawmill no we don't want to make planks i'm looking at the wrong thing where are we where are we at oh here long planks let's go ahead and deactivate that there for the floor tiles we just we just want to do the planks at this point we don't want to move them to both places because long planks are expected at the frame company so we'll do just the long planks at the frame company and regular planks at the flooring company and see hopefully they take all of them very good let's go ahead and check on this production and see how it's doing i forget where it's at it shows for here seven thousand planks so they only need about two pallets of planks let's go ahead and grab those and we got both of these taken over Oh, it stole it. It stole it. That's fine. Forgot that was activated. And I don't remember where we dropped these off at. Is it in the back? Must be right here. Must drop them off right here. There we go. One should be fine. They're not going to go through more than that today. So the next thing to find out is, does it pick up the prefab wall? I'm going to guess no. Yep. The answer is no. So we'll go ahead and sell what we have. Take a peek here. Can we see what we have? I mean... There's a good amount of stuff in here. Good amount of stuff. We'll go ahead and stop by the new building out here on the main road, sell everything we can there first, and then we'll make our way to the shop where we can sell that one plank we put in here. Why not? And the cheese. And my guess is we'll be close to 300,000 when we're done. And we've arrived. First time selling here. Mm-hmm. Why it no work? Why it no work? So let's grab one of these. Were they too high maybe? Frames are not accepted here. Oh, we were just at the wrong place. Okay. So there's 3,000 bucks. Let's just load it back up and turn around now. 3,000 
almost 3300 for one thing of frames not bad and was that everything it was not back up a little bit oh and it's taking the cheese too oh 218 000. all right so our estimate was low but let's go get a trailer to put the prefab wall on and that should get us about 250 because that's going to be about 24 000 just for that one so that should put us at about 250 000. i know my math's wrong it'll be close though okay we do have straps on this thing so let's go ahead and line up right about here. And we'll have to go to the field boss, wherever we left it, and pick up that prefab wall. This is exciting. I mean, $100,000 a day now? I mean, gosh. We started with $100,000. We sold everything. We're at two eighteen. This is pretty good. We're doing pretty good. But can the field boss pick this up? There we go. Not bad. Well done, field boss. There we go. And let's see. 14,000. Oh, really? Was the price not good right now? No, that is where it peaks. Okay, I was looking at something else. I was looking here, and it must have been the calculation of, yeah, the unfinished one, because we have 776 liters left. Not bad, though. We're at 234,000. Let's go ahead and put this away and it's time to figure out what we're going to do today. Yes, we will go to the store. Actually, we're here. Let's go ahead. All right, how you doing, ma'am? What do you have for used uh, equipment today? Oh, what's the horsepower? 280, can we, what's the upgrade on this? We can go all the way to 228. Oh, nice old beat up 4955. 50,000? Oh, that's so tempting. It's International Harvester. This thing... Um, yeah, not a big fan of that mod. Is this an upgrade from what we have? This is 26,000? Some good deals. This holds 24,000 meters. This holds 22... It is not an upgrade. Okay, okay. So let's... Hey, we have that. So a couple things we want to look at is do we want just forks... Or do we want something like a skid steer, a tele handler, a wheel loader, a front loader? Oh man, there's so many options. Kind of lean towards tele handler, but for those small areas, a nice beefy. Oh yeah, we don't need GPS. 58,000. Yeah, let's do this forks here. Let's go take a look. Look how high that goes and goes out too. We might regret have it not doing a front loader or a tele handler, but we'll go ahead and get that done and we'll have them help us load this on so we can get it home. Let me know what you would have done. Are we gonna regret this? Should we have done a tele handler or a front loader? I know the tele handlers, you can extend the forks a lot more and have different attachments. So it might've been more money efficient, uh, but I've never owned a, a forklift here. So I thought that'd be fun to do on this game, but yeah, let's get it home. Very nice. And I want to kind of see this in action here. This drives pretty smooth. Seems pretty powerful for, for what it's for. And the one question I had is how is it going to deal with the terrain? So we can't really, can tilt it forward a little bit. Helps if you line up straight. Okay, not bad. Is that high enough? Lift it like that, let that one spawn. I tilt it a little forward, and I bet we can let a third one spawn too with these forks. I don't know how many are left to spawn though. Should be plenty. Let's back up, give us some room. There we go, there we go. Okay, let's go ahead and, ah, it seems like it could do even more. This is nice. Why haven't I done this before? Oh, look, we have more stuff at the framing building. Nice, so we got more stuff here. Oh man, money's gonna be coming in real nice. All right, so what we're gonna do, take these right to where they start disappearing. And as is, we will just let them stay. Pretty awesome piece of machinery that we just purchased. Seems like a good spot to park it. All right, now, oh, let's shut our truck off here. We don't want to waste gas. The main thing we have to do on the farm today is spray the weeds on the barley field. So we'll get that taken care of. And we'll have to top this off. We have 1% left from last time. That's hilarious. We should be able to fill it up real nice. And it should still just be early enough to where, oh, you know what? We don't want to do that with this. This would damage it too much. Let's go ahead and drop this off for the field boss. We'll have the field boss do this chore for us. 
We need to move those planks before the day's over, though. Go ahead and drop this right here. I think that is specifically something that we'll want to get next is a tractor that we can always use for we're going through the crops when they're growing even though we don't have crop destruction on we do have that mod still because i'm i'm forgetful and haven't disabled it yet that does damage the field and we probably should get skinny tires on this if we're going to keep using it for that but we'll get the work done today we'll make that adjustment very soon and clean up all this horrible concrete soon to get it all flattened out all right First job of the day that isn't selling stuff. Let's get it done. All sprayed and done. Didn't damage the field at all. That was very good. Oh, don't damage the sprayer though. Okay, okay. Ooh. I think we only got a couple months until we have to harvest the corn. We need to start looking at the market for combines. And you're gonna have to get a harvester. We need to get a bean header and as well as one for corn. Gotta keep that in mind. I can't lose sight of that because we're gonna be very sad once that's ready to harvest and we can't. Oh yeah, the storage expansion is coming very soon. The rebuild of the farmyard and relocation before before July, before our year two on the farm ends. Let's take a little drive. So the question in mind for expanding is, do we go with 38 here to our right? We're gonna take a right up here, take a look at this land. It's not flat. I was hoping to find some flat land eventually, but I wanted to drive all the way to the end of the property line, get kind of an idea. We got a lot of arable land here that we could do, and it blends in to 39 over there. Hmm. So that's an option. Let's go ahead and take a look at a few more. This one, I'm not not sold on 47 expanding this way because of this mound here. It would be interesting to build up to that tree line. And then this direction goes out to about here. Hmm. And all the way to the road? Does it go to the road? It does go all the way to the road. So that's, maybe that'll be for when we expand the cattle area. And we do still have some room for more some more cattle up here on plot 48 right here that we're driving through. So let's go past the other field where I believe, I don't even remember what's over there. It's all grass, that's right. So we could expand this way into plot 50, which takes us to the end of the county. That hill there would be the county line and a good amount of open space. Then on the other side of the trees, plot number 59 is an option as well. Oh man, this one's tempting goes to the end of the county line this direction too. I want 59 and 38. Oh yeah, so we could s sneak up here. We could have like a road that comes all the way down this way, wraps close to these trees, and then leads right in. We come around this way and go right into this road. We have this area to do something with too. All right, wheels are turning. What are we gonna do? Let's take a look at when the corn's gonna be ready. That means we have a couple months left that'll be, let's see, March, the April, May, June. So we got a couple months left. Let's do this. I, wonder where you go. I just did that. I just did that. Let's get the John Deere. We need to get to work. So we spent $170,000 on land. I want to see if we can make our money back in two months from it. Let's attach the front first. So we are going to do a huge silage harvest right now. I don't know which one I'm gonna put the farm yard on yet, which one I'm gonna make fields. I have ideas, but I wanna make money off of this. I wanna make more than $170,000 from this cut. Wish us luck. Let's get busy. Okay. Now let's pay attention to where we're going. Cut some of the small trees down as we go. I think this is the right decision. It might have been a little crazy, but it's uh, it's what we went with. And why is this struggling so much? I think this is uh, what you do when you have too much money coming in every month. You you make decisions like this that lead to you know certain things five miles an hour. What the heck? Why? Is it that much uphill? No way. We're going to try to do this as efficiently as we can as possible as well. And hopefully we don't run out of gas while we do this because we still haven't filled up this this tractor. We just repaired this, right? I don't get it. 
Oh man, it's gonna be a big financial boom for us very soon that I really think is gonna help. That first one's gonna be hay. The rest can get wrapped. We probably should have done the larger ones too. It's gonna be a lot of wrapping. I guess it is pretty steep uphill here. Okay, okay, I think it was that much. But let's go ahead and now, if I remember the buttons, initiate, follow me. There we go. So that should be set good. Get back in here and get going. Should follow us and just pick up the grass for us instantly. Making bales. And we won't go too close to the border because I don't want to risk not picking up some of the grass. But this should be about the border of our property here. There we go. We're picking up speed now. And then we'll turn again. Too far. Hit the county line. We hit the county line. And we'll go right about there. Let's see what it does. Is it going to be able to get through? Very nice. Go about right here. And it's going to be a long day. I don't know if they lose track of us if they get too far behind. Man, imagine having a third tractor set up too to do some more following. Let's go ahead and let them roar turn around before we break something there we go yeah we missed a little bit that's okay this is a good example of how steep it is this is taking a lot longer than i thought it was gonna take oh some real life stuff i just walked to my kitchen grabbed a soda came back and we're still climbing this hill oh i love gps well we're finishing up the first field and looking back there's a lot of bales out there and i'm hoping the next one's not as steep and we can do it a lot faster because we lost a lot of time in this day climbing this hill we need to upgrade some equipment that is very clear if we're going to do anything on this field this close to the county line we're definitely going to need bigger equipment very powerful harvester if we do fields out here and for planting and everything we're going to need you know we're going to need some large tractors and the first field is completely done just letting the field boss catch up and we're going to head on over to the other plot now and hopefully we don't mess up the follow me Seems to be good, just don't run into any bales. And then they should follow the same track we take, so they should avoid them like we are. Looking good, okay. Just don't wanna get too far ahead and cancel it out. And they might take a while because they're probably not shutting off the baler, but it is what it is, we'll get there. Yeah, we'll just turn it back on if we need to. Look at them right in our tire tracks, what a cool mod. I wanted to address a few comments we had about the, the rocks. I do not want to get rid of rocks on the map. I want them to stay. I think they add to it. So no, we won't be buying the plot by the store to cut the sign to get rid of all the rocks. I think they definitely add to this map and are a very important feature in No Man's Land. All right, let's go ahead and unfold them again. Should be on our property here. And did our, our tractor's still making it. All right, let's get this going. Field number two. And we still have to wrap everything yet. It will be nice to expand this field, which we talked about when we first planted it. That'll be really awesome. Even though we have a little bit more land back there, I think we'll go ahead and turn around here. It's just a little skinny area. Yeah. Let me know. Do you think we're going to get $270,000 from this? Or sorry, $170,000. Scoot over just a little bit more and set home again and lock it in. And that's where we'll do our border. Even though we have a little bit more room over here, let's, let's not be too greedy here. A lot of bales to wrap. Come on, field boss. Here it comes. Nice. It's got to be blinking on gas now, right? The field boss? It's got to be. Right about now, I'm regretting not having a baler that has a wrapper attached to it. And that third tractor falling with the wrapper would have been sweet too. Well, it definitely was a lot faster to do this field than the last one because of the slope and the terrain isn't as steep. But I don't think it was as big either because of all the tree land. But... Either way, I think, I gosh, I gotta think that this silage is gonna be more than pay for the field. Even though silage won't be at a great price when we wanna sell it, we might hold on to it. We'll see. Baylor is finishing up. Once it gets done there, I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at the statistic page and see how many bales we did produce. 164 bales just in this session. Wow, 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 wow. That's a lot of wrapping. We are blinking. Let's go ahead and drive up and get gas. I don't think we'll have enough money to repair, but hopefully we can get there without running out of fuel. Well, looks like we made it to the gas station. Do we have enough money for this? We have plenty of goods that we could sell if we don't. Conditions? See, I don't... What else is bad? Oh, these are terrible. Let's go ahead. Maybe that's what was showing up there. 
And this, another 57. Okay. That feels better. I didn't realize it was showing me those things as well. Let's go ahead and head home. Oh, what a shame. We missed a little spot. How did we miss that? So remind me to never, ever, ever, ever do this again. It's a lot of bales. It's a lot of wrapping. It's going to pay off, but we should have done this in more than one session. Oh, and last one. Oh man, that's a lot. That's a lot. Should be a lot of money though. So we should be feeling a lot better about this in about two months or we're, we're going to decide at that point if we're going to sell them right away or wait for the price to be right. Uh, I think silage has a pretty good gap in fluctuation of the price. So we might hold off, but we got a lot of money sitting in those fields and I might leave them there until we need to start working in those fields. Just let them ferment in the ground. Some good crops or good crops. They're not crops. Some of our good products here are ready to be picked up again. But we will do that at the start of the next episode with as much ooh, mowing and baling and wrapping we did in this episode. I'm not sure how long it's going to end up being, but uh, I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you in April. Well, good morning. It is April. We are heading to the store to sell 6,000 floor tiles, 2,000 easels, 6,000 flowers, 2,000 picture frames and 6,000 mushrooms. We'll see how this does financially. Uh, the prices are still good-ish for everything. So we'll get that sold this morning. Then we'll take care of the rest of the chores. We got to move around some planks as well as probably sell the prefab wall. Take care of water in all of the things that need water. Check the cow's food and then go from there, really. Let's see. Mushrooms didn't sell. They're probably back here. Oh, they don't sell here. But 46,000, 47,000 ish. And another 400, so we got those sold. We're sitting at 51,000, making recovery from being broke there. And then this should be another like 40,000. Oh, we got a little bit of mushrooms that didn't sell. There we go, we're back over 100,000. And it looks like the sawmills are starting to get low, so we will have to replenish those this month. And I don't think any of our fields are ready. Grass isn't ready, the corn isn't quite ready, so. Yeah, so we will be prepping some new fields, it looks like, after doing all of our chores this morning. All those planks picked up here. We'll drop some off at the flooring building and move the large planks next. Oh, we still have some planks there. Okay, so that's set. We'll, go, we'll just put all these planks away then. Something took a couple planks from us. Oh well. The question is, do we have capacity right now? Or what is the price of planks? A little worried about capacity. I think I'm going to sell these. They're, the price isn't too bad. We'll lose about 500 per thousand liters. So we'll lose, you know, a good amount of money, but it'll be okay. And oh, can we swing by and get that? Maybe we want the cheese as well. Keep forgetting about the cheese. That was embarrassing. So we will sell those at the Silver Run Market because that is where the best price is right now. And I don't remember. I think they do take cheese there as well. All right, here we are all the way in the back. We got a lot of them in there. Very nice, $184,000. Very profitable farm at this point. We just, uh, we still have stuff to buy though. Expanding, buying bigger tractors. I think it's time to start saving for that harvester too. So that might be next month on that corn. So now that our cows have grown up a little bit, we need to get them water. We need to check on their food. It looks like they have food, but I think it's gonna be pretty soon. Let's get the milk from here, 3,000 liters, and let's go across the way. I don't see any new babies yet. And do we have milk here? Nothing. I thought they produce milk at this stage. Maybe they have to get to puberty, fully to puberty. Oh, they're only nine months. Yeah, that makes sense. They need to get to 12 months. Okay, so we got this 3,000 liters to drop off though. Keep the cheese factory going, our cheese production. Mm-hmm right there next is water all right we're all set there let's find a good place to park this for now oh more goods have uh, spawned already my goodness we we're producing goods so fast i can't even keep up all right let's get to the forklift and move some of this around we got two of these today so that's nice 
And we, yeah, I think right there we should be fine. Before we forget, let's go ahead and get those strapped all in. Get the other one loaded. And then we'll move the long planks. Keeping us busy. Sneak through here. We can. Nice. Definitely feel like this was a good purchase. I really enjoy using it. All set there. We go. We got one dropped off. We'll just get the rest of these moved on over. I think they're all going to fit. We got one more to move. All right. They did fit all of them. Let's go ahead and put the forklift away. Right here is a safe place. Nothing spawns right here right now. And okay, first hour of the day spent just moving goods around. Let's get these sold. And here we go. 28,000, not too bad. 214,000 in the bank checking account. I believe we started the day just under 5,000. So if that's what every day is, man, we're sitting good. And look at all of those wrapped bales. Got them over here as well. So this trailer is going to come in handy very soon. Probably not this month. It'll probably be next month. I'm going to sneak it on over here for now. Just taking a look. We, we have a 5.2 meter plow right now. I'm looking at what the other options are. This one, pretty cheap. It's eight meters. This one's six meters, but I think we're probably better off just keeping the one we have because the rest of them are pretty small. I mean, we could go with the cultivator, but I believe we're pretty much maxed out on what we could use price-wise. Let's check the used market. Yeah, nice F-150 in there. Oh, this is what we've been waiting for. That's insane. That is insane. Let's go back to the used market here. Um, 14,000 capacity. We cannot pass up on that. We cannot pass that. This, yeah, we can pass that. But let's see, cost-wise, our corn header that we want. I want to go with a decent one. So yeah, we need to save up some money for the headers still. But let's go and bring this home. And this is going to be a blast to harvest with. Oh my goodness, I was thinking about buying a case one. Didn't realize we would get this good of a deal. Let's see how much repairing this is going to cost us while we're here, if it'll fit in the doors. Looks to be in good shape. 46 hours on it already. Not too bad. Let's see what the damage is. 4,500 is not bad. We don't need to paint it. That's just silly. But yeah, now we're at full repair. Maintenance is good on it. Should be good for a few harvests. Wow, that's awesome. That's exactly what we're waiting for. Let's see how urgent we need to get some wood into these sawmills. This one over here still has 8,000 liters. That should be good. We can do that at the end of the day. This one, oh, we could use one in here just to be safe. We might run out during the day. So yeah, let's go ahead and grab the John Deere. Get the winch and we'll we'll cut a couple big trees down and move them over here. We need maintenance and gas on this very soon. It's really nice to have that large purchase out of the way. I man, what a what a good break. Got a couple trees here that I want to target. Go with this one first, and then this one as well. So we should be able to grab this. We'll attach it to the first one. Or the back one here. And we'll bring it closer and we should be able to attach to the other one. Seems to be doing it. Let's turn this way a little bit see if we can oh that might not be close enough we'll try we'll try no way everyone look away for a second oh look at that it worked out perfect worked out perfect okay let's go ahead and jump in the tractor pull these to the sawmill and that should be more than enough capacity to get us through the day 9500 yeah that'll do it we'll do a little bit more later on but let's get some work done. So I'm not 100% convinced or decided on what we want to do out in the field past the grass field. So we're going to start by heading over. We'll grab the plow. We got to clear some bales out of the way. So we'll get back in the semi in a second. But let's get the plow. Let's head over. Let's build a plan and decide what we're doing and go from there. So when we made this new field here, we already talked about making it larger. So that is one of the things that we're gonna do, but I want to prioritize planning the extension of the cornfield, and then that will determine what we do with this other field. So I think what we're gonna do is make an outline of what we want here, and hopefully the bales aren't in the way, and then we can move them later. And we're going to do close as we can to this field without damaging any of the corn. So we'll go here, 
We'll lower it and avoid the corn. And we'll clean up this corner here and attach it, connect the field a little bit better later on. But let's go about right here. I'm gonna make this field somewhat large. And we can see where the road eventually will come down here. So that's good. We're still clear from that. And then at some point, maybe after this next row of bales, we will head back this way kind of cut an angle. I'm trying to make these unique looking fields. Let me know. Went ahead and got the tractor repaired because we're about to do a lot of plowing and it's oh, very slowly filling up. When we get back to the farm, I will show you the outlines that we created for the fields that we're going to plow and it's kind of explain why we've made the outlines that way. So let's go ahead and hop out and we'll get the drone out and take a look at this in the sky. So this first section here, once the sorghum is harvested, we will blend the fields together, probably make this turn a little cleaner, as well as this other field over here. This big extension that we made to the corn field. So if we go ahead and get real high up here, we can see where that cornfield starts and it wraps around the trees on both directions now. That'll be really nice. There's a couple other changes that we'll do to connect those fields when the time comes. But here you can see this area that we left open. We're going to have the road connect for access down to these fields. And eventually you see where the road, you can kind of see it through the grass where it's going to continue. We did cut into it over here, but that's okay. Hey. That place looks familiar over there. But yeah, it's coming together nice. Let's get a full view of this and all of our property here. Get the drone way up in the sky. Yeah, you can see now we have one, two, three, four fields. We have all that area back there too. The cow pasture area, we might put a field there. We might extend, add a few more cow pastures. I'm not 100% sure what I want to do on that yet. Yeah, very cool. Let's come back down to earth. All right, what do we got going on here? Operating position, there we go. We'll get these picked up. I think it's 30 at a time, so it'll take a little bit, but we'll get these moved. No way, exactly 30 in this field. That's insane. And since we'll be selling them and not using these as food, let's go ahead and do this. Perfect right there. Oh, jackknife. And we'll get the rest of these all picked up. So 76 just in this area. Pretty nice for bales. Whew, they're smaller bales, but definitely worth it. Uh, didn't mean to do that, but that'll work. We never checked on... We never checked on the food for the animals. Okay. All right, they're getting low. A couple more months we'll have to take care of that, but uh, it's pretty soon once they start reproducing or if we decide to go buy more, which I am tempted to do at this point then it'll be you know a whole new game having to feed them more often because with only 24 cows or whatever we have right now it really doesn't go through much food but there'll be a lot more cows soon all right you know we've done this enough times we're gonna call an audible is this much wider though is it let's see here we have we have a lot of stuff now our plow is 4.6 meters our cultivator is Oops, five, it's a, it's tiny bit. It's tiny bit. It's not even gonna save us time. We need a bigger tractor so we can get bigger cultivators. There we go. We'll get more stones this way too, I believe. Well, that's one field knocked out. seems like a good time for a lunch break before we do the next one though. Just put this over here, head to the house, get some food and we'll get the field boss ready to pick the stones while we plow the other field. Well, let's see, we could, how do we do that? We draw a custom field might help us first looked here and it grabbed the entire two fields which would have ended up running the rock or the stone picker around something that we did not it would have gone into the field below so words are hard so far save field call it whatever it wants now let's see if we can create a course just on that no see it keeps selecting both fields, even though we drew a custom field. Well, oh, that's tough. All right, let's go over here. And I don't know if this is gonna do the same thing though, isn't it? Yes, but it's kind of neat seeing what the field is actually gonna be. We'll cut this corner and cut that corner to be a little bit better. So I guess we prioritize what we wanna do first. I think it would be getting these fields plowed and then we can work on the stoning because we're gonna have to do it ourselves. So here we go, lots of expanding. I definitely feel like we're hitting a threshold of a lack of equipment, I think is the word I'm looking for. Uh, it would be nice to have bigger implements here. We like a bigger cultivator to do this, but would also require a bigger tractor. So 
even though we're in a really good state financially with the productions that we have, I think we're starting to feel the pain of that with how long it's start, gonna start taking tasks to do, even even with course play, just the implements aren't, aren't wide enough to really get all the jobs done in an efficient way like we would like. So if anybody is uh, new to the channel, you'll learn that sometimes I get impatient and big decisions around my save files and my playthroughs get made when that impatience kicks in and I feel like that is coming soon. So we just bought an $18,000 cultivator that in my opinion is a little OP. Uh, for the cost of it and the width, uh, we're going to pick it up and I'll show you. And we're going to sell this one. It was a little low on the impulse scale of what I was mentioning, but it's going to speed things up a lot. And just for my own sake, I want to drive up to this and see. Oh, yeah, we can see a difference already. Yeah, it's not a huge difference, but it, it is. It is a difference. So let's go ahead and get this sold because we don't want it anymore. Let's repaint it. Let's get as much out of it as possible, which gives us a good amount of money back. And for those of you who are interested in how we're creating a field with cultivators, is we do have a mod that allows you to use cultivators. But I think the theory is that certain cultivators will be able to pick up the ground and create a field. This one is a little sketchy. I don't think it would dig enough and turn enough soil over, but I don't know. Let's debate that in the comments. Oh, man. I have a problem with the mute button lately. I don't know what it is, but I hope there's enough for this episode. Oh my goodness. So we are taking a little break. We're trying to do some fun stuff. We just tried to lift that water tank and that didn't work. I want to see if I can lift the John Deere. Oh, it seems too heavy too. All right, all right. New cultivator was fun though. Field boss. Oh, it can almost, I bet. Let's see. Almost can handle the field boss. That's not what we meant to do. It can almost lift it. That's pretty pretty cool. This is a pretty good machine. Let's see if we can fix this though. Oh, oh, too soon. There we go. Let's go sell some silage. Looks like it is the farm shop that we'll be going to. And let's keep track. Let's just we're gonna call it around fifty thousand right now. Even though we're selling this early, when prices aren't perfect, when we get done, if our cash is above two hundred and twenty thousand dollars, we already made our money back from those fields. Let's find out if we do it this way and we just drop them on here yeah they'll sell pretty easy that way so first 30 got us 55,000. i think we have our answer let's go get some more all right second set of 30 and we made a mess there let's uh take this in and then we'll have to pick those up and then some more in the distance but this should put us at 55 plus 55 110 and we needed 170 Ah, we got it. Not to mention, it's not at peak price, and we would have got even more. Do, do, do. Let's go ahead and sell, 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 sell. 63,000 that time. And we're not going to complain. Some of those weren't silage yet. That's okay. Third set here, heading back to the store. 66,000 again, and we've already done it. Let's see how far this profit goes and we're almost at 300,000 now I don't know how many full loads we have left I'm hoping we have two more that would be amazing but this yeah I mean I I, I kind of knew it was gonna pay for itself I didn't know it was gonna be this good imagine if it was like that in real life just go buy some acreage turn it into silage double your money yeah it's not that way I'm sure there's scenarios where that's possible 65,000 more we we'll have 15 more so we get about 33,000 for this load so the profit on these fields is already a hundred and seventy eight thousand dollars all right let's head back and spend a little bit of our money all right let's jump into construction mode here and I think it was right here that I was thinking so let's go to animals and this rustic cow barn here I want to place down so much for terraforming my goodness And let's hop out and see how that looks. Yeah, I raised it pretty good over here, which isn't bad actually. So another mod I haven't used. Oh, yes, we can go in here. Can we come up here too? Oh, that's kind of cool. Nice, all right. So we got these cows over here, the Holsteins. Let's go ahead and get our animal trailer and head on over and buy some more cows. We have $792,000 of potential.
potential uh, value in the goods that we have stored right now as well. So we're, we're sitting good. We should be able to do some of those equipment upgrades that I was talking about earlier. But yeah, let's head on over and pick out some more cows. We will do, I believe, some more dairy cows this time. I have a different uh, barn that I want to put down in a different area for when we get into our beef cows, our beef cattle operation. Is this close enough? It is. Okay. I feel like this brown Swiss is what we're going to go with next. And uh, let's uh, select. We'll do as many babies as possible. We're going to do a couple trips here. We'll do the babies. It's only 2,400. And then we will get some adults and heifers. We'll get 36 total. And then we'll have to mix some TMR. So we got a little bit left to do today. All right. All our cows have been purchased. Look at this mixture. Very nice. All right, let's get them some water and food. Or do we need water, is it? We do. It's too bad that's not piped automatically in. Guys, there's something behind me you can see in the reflection, but it's not, it's not there. That's kind of scary. Nice lights on this new building. Let's see if we can figure out exactly where the water went. Why do they keep disappearing? Like our water goes there. Very strange that you can't see them until you're close. All right, the train here did get a little, little wonky and interesting to see how much water this one takes yeah i have a feeling this one will need to be filled up a little more often only 8,000 liters yeah that'll be that'll be somewhat of a pain so now let's get one of our tractors over here as nighttime is upon us let's slow down time so we can get a little bit more of this done and i have a feeling this will soon be the main job for the field boss look for something that's 120 horsepower that's not super expensive I think this one might be it. $24,000? Yeah. All right, this is just going to be a worker tractor. And it's another one I've never used before. A Fiat? Fiat? Pretty sweet. Yeah, I dig it. So besides tipping over, its primary job is going to be helping us with uh, preparing food for the cattle. All right, let's back it up here. Let's get this in a little bit better place. Probably like right here. And we'll go ahead and turn that on. And then we'll come here and we're going to get some goods. Oh, maybe I can't pull this much weight. So what's the capacity going to be here? 24,000 should be good for a while. We'll go ahead and just leave that there. We could get one more prep, but that'll definitely get us through the night. And we will learn more about that later on and hopefully be in a better mood next time. New cows, new tractor, a new combine, and we made like a lot of money and we got really confused by uh some tooling here so let's go ahead and push these back in for now tomorrow we'll probably have to get more food over to that cow pasture or the new cow barn but i am socks way up i will catch you next time welcome back it's may we're doing some of our chores we got all the water filled up on the greenhouses as well as all the water troughs for the cows we are now heading into town to sell a good amount of goods. You can see in the bottom right there, we have a, a good variety filled in the truck. All the prices appear to still be good. We're gonna go to the Silver Run Marketplace here and sell majority of the stuff, possibly all the stuff, and I forgot the cheese again. I'm not sure about the price of the cheese, but we'll get all this sold and we should be, gosh, sitting really nice financially. Get this open so we can see what we're doing. I thought the flowers could get sold here. I guess not. Not bad. So over 300,000 now. And this should be another like 50,000, I believe. Far enough forward, get it sold. Yeah. 55, almost 56,000. We're at $360,000. The money machine is well alive and that pole is dead. Well, trying to figure out what all we need to do today. I know the sawmills are going to run out of wood. We need to take care of that. Uh, we wanted to stone or de-stone the two new fields. We got to cut this grass. Sorghum is very close to being ready to be harvested. So is the corn that should be in June. So today I think we just prep those fields. So both of these Gosh, since, since these two lead in, it's time to prep these. Then we'll cut the grass. But in between, we might as well try to decide here. So we're going to have to do stonework after harvesting. So I don't think it really makes sense to do it now, except for buying us some time so we can focus on other things around the farm. So next month after we harvest this, it'll probably be July when we get to it, we'll blend the fields together and replant them. So let's put this away. 
And we'll get the winch out and we'll get some wood moved. That'll be good to get those productions still moving. And speaking of time, let's get that rolling. And then after that, we have a good amount of money. We need to buy a header, two headers. So we got to keep that in mind. And we have some more goods we can sell. It's almost time to start doing this design session here or detailing. That could be coming, you know, in the next few episodes, definitely. So let's put this away. And we will then go cut down some trees, like always. And this whole little area here, we're going to do a nice little cut through. So we're going to want to open it up a little bit more. So I think that's where we will start today. So right here. That one's gone. That one. Cut a little bit lower and get some more use out of these. That one. And the big one. Is it not on my land? There we go. All right. Time to move these around and get them producing. Let's see how low this one is. I think it might have ran out. It did. Missing material. Yeah. There we go. Give you a little bit of wood. All right. Get the rest of these moved and probably a little bit more. And we'll rejoin you in a few. It's definitely getting to the point where we're going to have to plant trees very soon. And that might be, I mean, very soon because we might have ran out of time for them to grow before we run out. There's more land we can buy, but I guess at some point we might have to slow down on the lumber productions. But yeah, I mean, it is Cattle Ranch, so it was just a way to supplement our income for a while, right? So who knows? All right, I think this will do for now. We got both of them pretty populated. This is becoming quite the chore, and we might need to get some real forest equipment at some point. Forestry. So you just pull it this way to get it in the zone. Okay, I guess we we should have not done it that way. What happens if we cross over it like this? How the chain just handles it, I guess. All right, that should be good. 14,000 in here now, 14,000 in the other. I think we're good. Let's get this put away and probably cut the grass. Gosh, seems like that's all we've been doing in this series lately. I can't wait to get back to harvesting. Look at inventory, we have plenty of hay. Uh, we could add to the silage. So let's make sure, since we sold all that silage last time, yeah, we'll keep it. Cows are going to start growing big time or reproducing. Let's get this turned on. Make sure everything is, whoops, how it's supposed to be. We're going to go ahead and set up a course on that. Should be able to handle it. Get you going. And I'm not sure why it doesn't start the way we intended it to. But um... so one of the things I've been thinking about to make our lives a little easier is a baler, a round baler that has a wrapper attached to it so we can get things done a lot quicker so i think we might do that so we're gonna go ahead and head to the store and we probably can't pull it back with this but it seems to make sense to go to the store with the truck right maybe we'll grab the trailer while our worker is uh doing its thing really becoming like a farm manager at this point all right got the trailer all hooked up let's see what they have for us today. We'll check the used market just in case but let's go ahead and check it out so in the used market a uh, travel trailer would be kind of fun. A New Holland. What's the... Ho yeah, it's not big enough to really help us. But if we look at the Baylors, I've always been a fan of this Massey Ferguson one. We can go up to 150 centimeter of bales. And let's grab green. Is that what we've been doing? Let's mix it up. Let's go blue. We'll go ahead and purchase that. And that should be nice. And just for money's sakes, so we know what we're, we're at, let's look at these headers. We could go with this 19 row corn header. Yes, let's do it. And then to not go too outrageous with the bean header, we'll try this 28 foot one. Yeah, all right, $140,000 left. And yeah, that's gonna be massive for the cornfield. This will be good too. We'll leave the headers here until we need them. We don't need them today, so no reason to make the multiple trips, but let's head back and get ready to put this on the John Deere and try it out and see how much we hate it. I like square bales better because I don't like stopping. And while we're waiting for the John Deere to get freed up, let's go ahead and load these on up and we'll make sure, gosh, these long planks, do we get to sell them this month? I don't think so. Which one do we, ah, oh, my memory. We are taking those to this factory and they're almost full. So gosh, it, we could sell some if we really wanted to. Prices are good, but let's go ahead and load them up and we'll take them on over. And we have four here, so it'll get close to being full. It'll be a couple months and I think it'll be time where it is completely full. And do you not take them right here? It's not full, you can take more. What are you doing? 
There we go. You know, it's kind of funny. When I started increasing the logging on this series, I totally forgot that we we're doing it on Whiskey RP since we we're taking a break for so long. So we kind of have redundance, some redundancies in the series, and I was trying to avoid that, but it's kind of hard to. I mean, there's only so much you can do on Farming Simulator, and it makes sense for why we have the, the sawmill and Whiskey RP. We had to have it for... We're getting the wood chips, so we're also taking advantage of the other the other productions on there. Let's go ahead and get these prefab walls all filled up or loaded up and not run into the pole. We'll park right there. We'll get those sold because the price is good right now. And by the time we get back with that, we should be able to take over for the John Deere. And oh, look at all that. Oh, we need to clean up that completely. It's getting open. We need trees. But yeah, we'll get these sold and then we'll take over for the John Deere and see how that new baler and wrapper combo works out for us. All right, 2,000 prefab walls, about $30,000. Very nice. I should have looked at this before. I don't want the posts. Look at the posts going to the ground. Nice. That's so much better. I wish the grass would like Maybe it does get slowly eaten over time by them. Look at that. That's weird. Went ahead and just purchase the soil information over here. Finally have a decent break in soil types. Not great, but yeah, that's actually actually pretty awesome compared to what we've been dealing with. Not too shabby. I was kind of thinking, do we even need that property back there? And that hay bale over there too. But we could sell it and rebuy it later. We don't really need money, but it's just kind of wasted there. I don't know, it's just stuff to think about. Without having seasonal growth on, we didn't do a very good job of separating the crops and when we harvest them, but eventually we should have enough fields to where we could spread that out and get it going better. And I'm almost tempted to turn this into a crop, an arable, maybe a cereal crop and just cut the grass areas when we need food for the cows because we're gonna have such a huge inventory at this point where it's almost i mean yeah this could just be used for other things no let me know what you think and this is your typical home and you've been just sneaking in right there so go ahead and do that and we'll get the baler and let's get this thing a shot see how it goes I've used it before. It's been a while, though. Just not a big fan of stopping. I'm not patient. And we want to set it up for 150. Unfold baler. Automatic drop turned on. Go ahead and lower it. Turn it on. And here we go. Do this nice little, little mess up here. It's beeping, warning me. Dropped off. Once it closes, we should be good to move forward. Yeah, it's kind of nice. It's kind of nice being able to do this in one take. And what's even better about it is... When we have other things to do on the farm, we just go nearest and hit that. And now we have course play, wrapping and bailing in one go, perfectly clean line, and we can work on other tasks. Very, very nice. While that's going, I did want to kind of, you know, maybe we do add a road here. Let's go ahead and we're going to keep this area. Eventually this is all going to get upgraded to a different material, but let's go with that. Not bad. And now what I haven't decided is if I'm gonna put some productions here, buildings, farmhouse, what we have, it, I haven't decided that yet. Uh, if you have any suggestions on field 59, let me know. Let's jump in the truck. We'll get some of these bales picked up so that the John Deere doesn't get stuck. And looking at all these stones, I think it is time to get a roller. We will do that after this. We'll treat the grass field. We'll get a roller, we'll get it rolled. And I think that would be a nice addition. The yield must be so good that it's, it's taking that long. Nice. But you know what? I, is it able to do this type of bales? You must, you need to fill the tool first. Operating position. I don't know what that means. Okay. Well, that seems to be working. And we should not be damaging the field anymore. We got that mod removed or uninstalled, deactivated. Missed a bunch of grass over here. So we'll have to pick some up. That's okay. 
Oops, stop, stop, stop. We don't want to pick that up. All right. While that's going, let's go ahead and head to the store with the field boss, and we'll take a look at the rollers they have to purchase. It might make sense to buy some header trailers for these. We'll do that next episode. All right, let's go ahead and park here and go say hi again. Hi. How's it going? You probably make a lot of commission off of us, don't you? Oh, I didn't add any fancy rollers. Okay. Let's see, what about grass care? What do we got here? This one's tiny. This one's tiny. So these are kind of small. This one's not bad. 26,000. I just don't know if that works for both. Is this plant too? No way. And a cedar? Yeah, it does. That's kind of cool. I'll have to keep that in mind for the future. We're gonna go ahead and buy it like that. We might not use it that way, but oops. But I think that's, uh, we'll give that a shot because I want to experiment with that. It sounds pretty neat. But if we ever do have to extend the grass field or anything like that, we could use the cedar functionality of it. And I didn't see if you could fertilize with it. Just grass and oil seed radish. Okay, but let's go ahead and unfold this and see how we feel about the size. And I assume, and maybe I'm being dumb, that you can just roll with this as well. And you lower it. Just, nope, nope, nope. Keep messing that up today. Okay, so it's see, yeah, that makes sense. You don't have access to this land, of course. Very cool. All right, let's get this home. And we'll probably fertilize in lime first. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. Got a full load of these. We're gonna go drop them off. I'm gonna let them ferment. I think we're out of space in the in the storage, so we're gonna just put them over here while they, uh, if I remember how, and they fall kind of funny and mess up. Okay, and then we need to reset and go like that. Okay, and we should be able to pick more up now. Yep, very nice. Very cool auto loading trailer. So this one, let's take a look at that. Under mods, we have, oh, where is it at? So these are some that we're using. I don't, that's not the one we're using, but you can find this 30 foot flatbed auto trailer or auto loading bale trailer. But then we also have a pack here. This auto, auto load stock trailer pack is what we're using. And you can see, oh no, I guess we are using the other one. So that's where we're using for the pallets. And then we used to use this for everything. But then back to this 30 foot one is what we are using right now. Yeah, those are the two mods for auto loading that I do prefer. And both of those should be on Mod Hub. They are, they are not private ones, I don't believe, but I am still working on getting that list together. Just a full-time job, trying to do this almost every day, posting a video every day, and, you know, family life as well. It's, uh, it's time consuming, so I apologize for the delay on the mod list. We're looking at this for the future, $331,000. Yeah, maybe. And we probably could pick up another bale, but look at all those over there. I think it was 61. Not too bad. Let's get this put away and, you know, yeah. After the July episode is when I plan on really remodeling. So we, I definitely like this farm area here, but it's not good enough. It really isn't. What did we want next? The spreader. We got a little lime. I don't think we have any in the lime production. So let's go ahead and we'll have some deliveries done here and we'll get a little bit of lime. And let's do, I don't think we need much. So let's just do two pallets and only $22 to get those delivered, not too bad. And we'll top this off and see if that'll be enough to re-lime the grass field. Then we'll get it fertilized and then we'll roll it. Yeah, a lot of grass field work, but let me know if you think we should turn this into a cereal crop or maybe soybeans or something instead of a grass field. I think it's worth the risk just get more diversity field wise going just a little stale on cutting grass all the time that's been my thought process at least go ahead and start right here this shouldn't need much but it's been a little bit since we've lined this so we'll see how that goes and that speed is way too fast let's slow down a little bit there 20 feels about right oh we're just gonna be short one bag oh man all right let's get all this and because we can We'll get one, you know, just dropped off right here. That's the way to do it. That's hilarious. All right, don't fall off. Don't fall off. There we go. That's fun. That's fun. All right, let's turn around. We got a couple little spots here just to clean up. Great demand at the farm shop. Okay, line spreading all done. Let's go ahead and just drop this off here. I think what we're going to do is we're going to put this on the roller, but we're going to grab the field boss for spraying liquid fertilizer we have the sprayer that we just haven't used much so let's get 
Let's take advantage of that. Let's get some use out of it. And we'll get a head start and then we'll start rolling. We'll have a worker take care of the spraying and we will take care of the rolling since we haven't used this before. That'll be real fun. Really interested to see how that's gonna work. But I, I figured it'd be the right job for the field bosses to do the spraying. And I'm not sure what we have for product right now. So are these all? Let's unload that. And I think I do see some liquid fertilizer over here. Let's go ahead and make sure we get close enough to it to fill it up. And that is not. What? Let's fill that up all the way. Oh, okay. So that, and then let's combine these two. I don't know why it favored that one. That was weird. Yeah, nice. So they'll combine those into one now. Now we go over here. It should give us our nitrogen. Nice. Very nice. I think what would be best, I don't even want to do course play on this. This is just too simple. So we'll go ahead and we'll do like a headland here. Oh, we missed. That's going to drive me nuts. Let's go right there. Turn that on. Should get that little spot. It did. Okay. And then we'll hand it over to a worker and just see if a normal worker can take care of this. That's a nice sprayer. It's too bad we don't get to use it more often. All right, the headland's done. That used 25% of the capacity, so I am going to top this off before I hand it over to a worker. Back up here. And that should be good right there. All right. Oh, it's flying. That'll be done in no time. Hopefully they don't run out. I think it might be okay. So let's go ahead and get this unfolded and see how this is going to do. And we shouldn't have to... Yeah, we can already see it is rolling, making a different texture. I always love the look of it afterwards. You know, you got this look here and that. Nice. Other maps might look a little better with their grass texture, but... Yeah, it looks nice. Roll that there. And I thought it would get rid of all the extra grass. I must be thinking of something else. But we can pick that stuff up next time we harvest it. And it's not pushing down. Those rocks must be too big to get pushed down. Or those stones. That's what I was kind of wondering. If it was going to take care of that for us. And it did not. Not on the bigger stones. Definitely not the biggest width for what we're doing. But it is worth experimenting with, I think. Yeah, none of these stones are getting pushed down. So those must all be the larger ones. And I, yeah, I was hoping it would push them down. But this roller is not. Let me know what I'm doing wrong. So we're still in year two. Year three is really going to be about big equipment. And a bigger farm. And bigger expansions. Larger, uh, you know, quantities of cattle. So that's going to be nice. It's just all this is leading to that. And jobs like this and kind of evaluating the tooling and implements definitely tells me that bigger roller, bigger cultivators, bigger plants or everything is what we're going to need long term. And I'm kind of excited to get to that point when we get into year three of uh, Cattle Ranch. And for experiment's sake, we just bought the $41,000 roller that is a little bit bigger. We're going to go sell this one. It was a little experiment. We're not going to use this. It's a little small, so long term, like I was just mentioning, it's not going to work out. So let's go ahead and swap these out. But it was kind of fun and I'm really interested. I, I'm 99% sure we can roll the grass with these other rollers. But if not, we made a we made a mistake, but we'll use it for definitely use it when we plant the other fields anyways. Yep. Go ahead. No need to do any of that. Let's just sell it away. Got 24,000 back for it. So not too bad. And just the size of this one, so much better. It's going to go out one more. Yeah. Definitely get the job done so much faster. Wow. Yeah, let's go. We'll just lock it in right there. Get it lowered. And let's see. It does not seem to have effect on the grass. Should have kept the other one. All right. We're going to, you know, the rules, uh, we keep this and it'll be for other purposes of rolling when we plant. So that makes sense. That would be one for after seeding. So we'll go ahead and put this away. We get it. We need to get organized. Oh man, we need to get organized. Drop that there and we'll go ahead and finish the spraying that it looks like they missed or was it just one of the texture change issues let's find out that on now that one was not missed looks like this one up here was oh we had it on there we go how about that nope nope very very nice just a little spot here then that finished get this put away and we'll undo our redo and we'll redo our undo and you know i don't i don't know what i'm trying to say that cost us four thousand dollars but we got it back four thousand extra i should say so we're at eighty thousand we got plenty of money still we got everything we need for harvesting next month 
and a lot more money coming in hooked up with that fix gps again and go back to where we were and finish this field that's weird i really thought it yeah this these are flat though so that makes sense they don't have the ridges to them i think the thing i'm the most confused about is the stones all right right back where we were but it's all done it looks so nice maybe we should clean up and break up all this extra grass and make it look even better but i don't know i'm digging it I think it was a good decision to buy the rollers. A war guy. All right, maybe maybe I will take the the title least organized YouTuber on Farming Simulator. Oh, it's becoming a mess. We need more storage. Two more episodes. Yep, yep, two more, two more. Then we'll do it. Hope you enjoyed this one. Not a lot happened. Next episode, we are going to get real busy with two harvests and finally use our new harvester that we got a great deal on. I'll see you in June. I'm starting to do my morning chores and I notice there's a lot of babies around here. Let's see if we find some more. Look, there's one. It's just sleeping. It's just sleeping. I hope it's just sleeping. But we'll get all the milk moved and uh, we'll have to check food because now that we have more cattle around, we might be going through food a lot faster. Oh, plenty of cheese to sell too. Go ahead and get this topped off. We'll do the rest of our morning chores and get started with the day. So this happened to us last year, if I'm not mistaken, the wood that just happened. Yeah, okay. And as I was saying, if I wasn't mistaken, the wood plank said July was going to peak and it starts to decline in June. And I don't know if it's worth it. So we are going to sell all the planks today because they're at a pretty good price. We're not losing much money compared to the peak. So we'll get a lot of this sold as I, you know, I have a hard time seeing in here. I bet unloading might be better, but... Yeah, we'll get what we can sold here. And it looks like the easels got missed. Let's try to back up straight here. Hello? I don't know what it's selling. Is it selling planks? Are they too high? It might be too high. How do you unload? Hello? Okay, that was weird. So let's grab these if we can without messing things up too much. And we'll drop those in there. And uh, do planks get sold? Planks do get sold here. They just I think they were too high in the trailer. All right, let's try this again. That's a tree. And we'll try again. It's just struggling getting all of them. Let's go ahead and get rid of the flowers. And we'll see what we can do over here as well. Uh, this is what we get for, for doing it the way we're doing it, right? Oh, back up just a hair. Well, we're at 280,000. And I believe that's 200,000 already because I think we were at about $80,000 to start the episode. So let's go ahead and get the rest of the planks and get them sold. We'll figure out which sell point is the peak price and see where we're sitting and then we'll get the harvest going we'll start with the corn i think can't forget the cheese so yeah i'm glad that missed because i do want to i want to wait on the cheese sorry little cow all right let's go here and we will attempt to get as many planks out as we can looks like we're at our capacity so we'll do our first trip here with 48,000 liters of planks it is going to be the farm shop okay sorry cow so 88,000. i was trying to do it all in one. Oh well we tried oh yeah yeah, very nice. We're at almost $500,000 now. I don't know what's the highest dollar amount we've had in our account. Definitely think today's going to be it, though. Okay, this is it. 14000 so it won't be as impressive as the last sell, but it'll definitely get us above $500,000. Another 63000 Not bad. That should be enough. 15000 should definitely help this for a while. Let's see if we can find there's a spot. Very good. Let's check the other animals. So that one's getting up there, 25,000 left here. We're still good, so now we can just shut that off. And now that we got our chores done for the morning, we can go ahead and head to the store and get the corn header so we can get to harvesting finally. It feels like it's been, gosh, 10 episodes or so of this series without harvesting. All right, we got our corn header on our new header trailer. So we'll take this down to the field where I have the harvester already out there. We'll go ahead and get it attached and get to harvesting. This is kind of going to be OP, isn't it? This header size. Oh, man. Go ahead and pull right there. Shut that off. Get in the harvester. Start getting it unfolded as we turn over here to get the header. And is the auger going to be big enough to unload with this big header? Er, hello? What did we do there? I guess maybe we have it on the wrong way. There we go. Okay. So let's get it lowered. 
that turned on, and this is quite impressive. We'll see. Oh yeah, this isn't going to take long at all. We'll see how quick this fills up, though. Definitely the right purchase, and I cannot wait to blend these two fields together. So this won't be a straight line anymore. Only 8% so far. It seems a little disappointing. Again, this, per this crop is just for profit, just to sell. We don't need it for anything. We could have chopped it into silage, but uh, that wasn't really necessary. So I figured we'd just harvest some corn. 15% capacity. Hmm, we might be able to make it all the way around before having to unload, which is kind of disappointing with this size of a header. But we are dealing with a lot of clay. 80% full here. I don't think we'll make it all the way back, which is nice. That's definitely promising. This is a huge hopper in this harvester and with a large header this is very efficient a good combination i think we'll probably duplicate this if we ever get to the point where we feel like we need two harvesters but yeah this is very enjoyable i'm going to do this whole harvest myself and really just enjoy a little bit of farm simulator farming simulator because that's what it's all about right oh yeah uphill didn't slow down too much this is definitely the right purchase Let's open this up and see distance wise. Oh, beautiful. We are fine. We could have gone even larger on the header. 95%. Look at that. Not even one time around. Ideal, very much ideal for yield here. Let's go ahead and leave that running. We'll go get in the John Deere here with the trailer. Go to sneak on in over here and unload. And it'll be interesting to see if we can get a full load of this trailer. I don't remember the capacity. I think it was like 26,000 or something. So we should be able to get a couple trailers full. Go ahead and shut the John Deere off. Leave that there. Corn harvesting. I'm excited. This is fun. All right. Bring that back in. And yep, we are still on. Here we go. One thing we don't have is GPS on this. We'll have to upgrade that eventually. And it's only 15,000, so that won't hurt us too much. All right. See if we can get this second load all in here. I, how's the capacity over here doing? 50%. So... This will almost fill it up. Not too bad. Let's get some mech in the back to you know keep it even. Pick up where we left off. You can see we're we're getting there. Going very fast, to be honest. All done. 93% in the hopper. Let's get the auger open. Fill as much as we can in the trailer. I do not believe it all will fit, but we'll get as much as we can and then get it put into the silo. So let's check the corn price right now. Oh, corn's at its peak. We're gonna sell right away. More money. That's Kind of exciting. All right, so we got that full there. We'll leave this as is, but we'll go ahead and hop in here. We'll take that in and get it sold, 35,000 liters, and then we'll come back for the other 3,000. And then we're gonna prepare this field, and yeah, that's what we're gonna focus on the rest of June. And I think July, we'll take care of the sorghum. And here we are. Let's see how we do for corn on our first delivery of it ever. That's right, we got the slow tipping trailer. I like it though. And that was $50,000? Wow. I didn't think it was going to be that good. Awesome. All right, let's go back and get our other 3,000 liters and bring it in. It'll be, you know, about $7,000, I believe, from that, but it's still worth it. I was just looking at price of things, and even though it's June, soybeans are also at peak price. So we're going to get those out of the silo and get those sold finally. Let's get this unloaded here and then we'll put the harvester away. So we got a little bit more sales to do. Let's see how high we can get our income today. Get that balance as high as possible. All right, let's see. Almost 4,000 liters. Yep, another just about, uh, just under 6,000, okay. Let's go ahead and head back. We can figure out how to turn around here and get the soybeans. Looks like we have 19,000 liters of soybeans should be pretty good money all right 19,000 liters of soybeans to be sold look at that money skyrocket nice $75,000 I think that's what we're gonna put in the cornfield all right so here's the time we've been wanting to talk about finally doing this field or finishing this field so that we can start getting it prepped let's go ahead and lower that and we'll come around kind of like this here Oh, let's get that turned back like that. There we go. And blend it in. We have some trees in the way that we didn't take to the sawmill. Let's go ahead and get that out of the way. And then just have this blend into the already plowed area. Real nice. There we go. We can lift there. And that's not that large of an area to plow in. Let's go ahead and get that done. And then we'll do the other side. Just a little spot there. All right, this side should be done now. 
Let's head on over here and see exactly how we want to blend it together. I think we'll come about right here. We'll back up a little bit. Kind of do the same. We'll come hug the trees again, like so. This one's got to go. Blends in nice. And yeah, just a little triangle to plow up as well here. Yeah, I'm really digging this field the way it's turning out. I think we're going to leave most of the trees too to keep this very unique shape to it. It was actually fun to harvest and be interesting to see how it is when it's so much larger next time. Okay, this is why you can see we're talking about needing larger equipment moving forward. And that should do it. Let's make sure we do have the soil purchased for all of that. The samples. Yeah, it's a little more money. Go over here, purchase it. There we go. Cost us uh, a couple grand, but we got fresh soil samples on both and you can see they blend together. Let's go to the soil type now. Yeah, not too much clay in there. Let's get this put away. And I guess we gotta buy a lot of lime or do we stone it first? Yeah, let's get the, let's get the stones removed from this large field and we'll get as far as we can this episode with preparing this field. And since we did cultivate a lot of this, I'm interested to see how much of it ends up being stones and like how many, how many full hoppers we get here. But this should take a while actually. And we'll see what time it is when this gets done. We might have to hook up the field boss to the limer, the lime spreader, so we can get multiple things solved here, but let's see how this goes. Just deposited all the stones we had, and it's just taking too long to de-stone the fields. Was debating shutting it off, but let's go to the store because I have another plan that would maybe cause us to not want to change the rules of the game. All right, first step here. Let's go ahead and get this sold. We will repair it and repaint it. We'll get as much out of it as possible and sell it back. So that's seven hundred thousand dollars, and let's go say hi to the nice young lady over here. Stone pickers, we have this uh, crazy-looking one that is nine and a half meters wide for sixty-four thousand dollars. Yeah, cost us a little bit of money to upgrade this, not too bad, and the work will get done at least twice as fast. Let's go ahead and try this out. Sure is quite wide, and this smaller field will be pretty quick to do it on even though we weren't working on that we're gonna do that next episode let's go back over here we're gonna finish this field out and it'll be interesting let's head to the top because i know we did most of the middle already which is kind of strange if we look at the map here we're gonna do top down because it's hard to see in the weeds go like right here lower it get it started yeah that width is impressive nice it is definitely knocking them out for us and i think that will do much better I'm still debating shutting off stones because I thought it would be a little more productive and it just doesn't seem to be. So it's almost just pointless. We'll go ahead and get this done real quick and leave, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about leaving stones on or turning them off. I don't think it really changes the challenge much and we're kind of past all the, all the hard parts. Now it's just kind of grinding to make money and expanding. Let me know. Yeah, not as annoying. Uh, you can see we got most of this field taken care of. We're going to leave those red ones over there. I don't think it was even picking them up. We can go test that out. But it seemed like this extra extra size of this stone picker is definitely better. It makes it a lot easier to deal with and it's not as tedious of a task. So I don't know. I'm still leaning towards shutting it off because it's just kind of slows everything down. So I don't know. Let me know. Let's see. So we got some red ones. Interested to see if we have to cultivate to pick them up. It's hard to see. We got a few coming up here. Can't really see them. They might be a row over. That one might get caught. And that doesn't look like... All right, this will tell us right here. Okay, that's just silly. It couldn't pick those up because it hasn't been cultivated. Maybe it's realistic. I, I have no idea. But let's go drop off what we have and we'll get it turned into lime. Maybe for the last time. Let me know in the comments. Might possibly probably be recording the next episode before this goes out so it'll be a little bit before we make that decision i'm leaning towards turning it off that'll do it for june next episode we'll definitely get harvesting of the sorghum and planting the corn field and yeah i have some expansion plans out here i've made some thoughts i'm excited to get to that that might happen next episode 
it might be an entire expansion episode as well. Let's get over here and take a look. It's definitely sloped. I was hoping it was flatter than it was. We might have to do some terraforming and cost a little bit of cash for that. But yeah, this is plenty of space for the plans I have in mind. Cannot wait to share them with you. Well, it is July, the end of year two, and we got some things to talk about. The first thing we're going to do today, we're going to detach this, find our spreader, and we're going to fill up with all the lime in the stone production. All right, I think it all can fit. We got about 6,000 liters in here from some of the jobs that we've been doing, and let's get it going. All right, we got that all done. Let's head on over here. Is the wheat ready to harvest too? Oh my, I did not realize that. All right, we're gonna get this one going and we'll have to check in on it in a little bit, but we got some chores to take care of. So I'm gonna do a little course here and it's definitely gonna need a lot of lime to finish this off. So we'll get them going. And we'll be planting this later today. It's going to be a busy one. The second thing we're going to do is we're going to go into construction. We're going to go. Second thing we're going to do is go into construction mode here and sell that. We're going to go into the game settings right here. And we are going to turn off stones. If I can remember where that is. No seasonal growth, periodic planting, field stones off. That we'll deal with later. Then we're going to go grab the field boss. We're going to sell this and we're going to deduct the money that we just got back from that production. And when we sell this, and that's going to be kind of our penalty for shutting off stones is we don't get the money back for this equipment and the production. It's just a, we'll call it a failed business venture or a finished business venture. We're kind of done with it. So yeah, we'll get this over to the shop and get it sold and get the money all sorted out. And then we will check on our lime. All right, we head in here, get this sold, and money is fixed. So we'll get the field boss home, and then we will probably start that harvest. Uh, we got some other things we should probably... Seriously. All right, this should be enough food for the day. Very soon we'll do a large TMR session and get them completely all filled up. But for now, this will do. And we got to figure out where that straw goes soon. And now we'll get them some water. There's much of this put back in. We bought eight. I don't know if, I don't remember if it holds eight. I don't think it does. It holds four, doesn't it? Uh, we'll see. We'll get them all filled up here and proceed with this. And right now we're getting ready to pick up all the goods to go get them sold. But we got a lot to do. So I want to get this lime going so that after we harvest the sorghum, we can plant the soybeans here. Uh, we need to spread out these fields though because I don't want to harvest them all the same month like this. So we might hold on to the wheat until later on to get that harvested. Set these right here. We will <laughs> be buying more and using them soon. We'll get in here, turn this back on, and then you go to nearest waypoint and let it continue. So this episode's going to or this month is going to be two episodes and I want to do some remodeling and we've talked about that and that's definitely going to be happening next episode. I was hoping to get up to a million dollars for that, but I don't think we'll quite make it. Uh, we'll see how we're doing after we sell all these goods, but it's going to be close. All right, we got all the mushrooms. Let's see what we got for flowers still. Yep, all the flowers are good. Planks are still at a good price, so we're gonna get those sold. So let's go do our selling event. Lock this in so we can see how much we have. It's a good amount of stuff, good variety there. Get a little bit of stuff sold here that we can. And we are sitting at $756,000, oh yeah. A few planks didn't sell there, but they will sell over here. We're just over 800,000, which makes, you know, a little short for what my somewhat goal was for the remodel, but we still got some stuff to do today. We got, we can possibly find some other things to sell. If we need to fund a little bit more, we can sell some of the silage a little early. So yeah, let's head back. We can get the harvester all prepped at this point and check on the lime process. Make sure they don't need lime anytime soon. Run over a couple cows, and we'll get to harvesting. And this header seems a little small compared to the corn header. We, 
We might have underestimated the size of this one when we bought it. But smallish field. Shouldn't take too long to harvest. And to be honest, I think I'd be surprised if it actually fills the hopper all the way up. But it'll be nice because this field will definitely get extended here soon. But here we go. Very nice to be able to do some harvest. And, you know, like I mentioned last episode, it's been way too long. And hopefully we get enough fields here soon to where we can pretty much have a harvest almost every episode or every month or that would be nice. So here's the part that we said was going to get interesting, was harvesting around these rocks and to see how annoying they were. And it's just it just takes a little bit longer, I would assume. It's not actually that bad, but let's find out here. It'll be interesting to see if we're able to get all the crops or if the stones get in the way and we need to not plant as close. Yeah, that seems seems to be problematic. You kind of have to really mess up the field almost. Not necessarily the field, but the the paths we were taking. Sneak around this one. Try not to damage the header too much. There. Yeah, that's a little annoying. Might have to figure out a solution for that. Yeah, this one's a little more of a pain. So we are going to lose a little bit of product, but shouldn't be too much to really affect our overall bottom line yeah just a little spot there that we weren't able to get but yeah this is uh it's not that's not the best so i'm actually quite pleased that this filled up all the way i was you know a little bit surprised to see we won't quite get two but it'll be pretty close can the field boss pull this trailer we're gonna find out here real quick seems okay but there's no weight in it yet field boss is uh Pretty strong tractor. Got to be low on lime over there. Are they stuck? We should check on them here in a second. They're stuck. They're stuck. Trees are always in the way. While that's unloading, we'll go ahead and help out over here. Oh, no, it fell. Now, look at that. Lazy man solution there. That's hilarious. It's 100% full still. It's been stuck for a while. It's going to fall off, right? Let's see. I, it, I have a feeling it's going to fall off. This is a huge field. This course seems... Well, I don't understand what it's doing. No wonder it's taking so long. We'll let that keep going. We'll check to see if it falls off anytime soon. Right, let's go ahead and get this closed and get back to harvesting. Yeah, probably going to get stuck again on some trees. And we'll have to help out. Keep checking in on that. We're going to pull all the way up to the rock. Back up. We're going to have to repair this thing off. And geez, we're damaging it. Wrap around this rock here. Keep going, keep going, there we go. Yeah, we got this. I feel like our worker abandoned us. We should check on that. Get this finished here. Pretty decent harvest. Yeah, we're getting about 65% of this hopper full again. That's a lot more than I expected, so that's pretty good. We'll have to check the prices and see if we're good to sell this now. I have a feeling it is good because of the time of year, but yeah, we'll check. We'll get this unloaded and we'll go ahead and check on. Yeah, oh, it started over. Making its way around, okay. Okay, just wasting some diesel there. And laying down a little more lime. All right, we'll get the harvester put away. It's done for now. We're gonna do, if I mentioned it earlier, it's gonna be two episodes in July, so we're gonna do a lot of the redesign and remodeling that I talked about and we will sneak in harvesting. Oh, we might wait till August. We'll park it here on this slab for now. I'm not sure exactly if we're going to wait till August or not. I kind of want to get these fields. Yeah, I mean, preparing them is really going to change that. But all right, how are you doing there, lime guy? Yeah, this is too heavy for the field boss now. We got to go up this hill. Sorghum prices are not good until January, it looks. So we are going to go put this in the silo if we can make it there. We made it. A little struggle up that hill, but it's okay. I don't think we would recommend pulling this trailer with uh, the field boss unless we have to. But we'll get this deposited in here and get that lime work going. And we want it to we want to get to planting that big large field with soybeans today. So that will be next. We wanted to get these items here sold, so we'll get them loaded up on the trailer, and that'll buy us some time while the lime is being laid down and yeah, they're moving they're moving still these long beams on here oh i think we can just push them now not bad they're just a little too long to push evenly there we weren't right in the middle 
There we go. That's right where I want them. And we'll get the rest of these going. And loading up the last prefab wall here. Just probably sneak it around the back this way. Not too bad. We'll have to move that a little bit. Back like that. That actually didn't do too bad. Yeah, we'll get this parked and then strap that in and go sell all this. And I don't think it'll get us quite close to that million, but it will be closer at least. So the art gallery was still full, so it made sense to sell all of this um, instead of taking the long planks over there. So we'll get the 5,000 long planks sold and the 3,000 prefab walls. Let's uh, do that. There we go. Yeah, get us to that 900,000 mark. Let's do it just under. All right, all right, not bad. $892,000. That's a decent remodel budget. It's amazing. So we got $2,400 worth of seeds delivered. So we'll get this filled up and we're gonna start planting while they finish out the lime because we're losing time in the day and we have two tractors so we might as well do it it's been a while since we've done anything like that with the field boss but it'll be nice and it will be nice to be closer by to make sure that the tractor isn't getting stuck as it oh it's turning around right now all right so let's go ahead get it lowered down and it should not apply any nitrogen because it's soybeans. Yep, exactly. Okay, so we should be able to do two headlands, it looks like, and not worry about the lime. Maybe we'll just do one, just to be safe. And then we will start planting where they've already put lime down. And the way they're overlapping, no wonder it's taking so long. Ooh, that's a nice texture. Uh, maybe we call an audible. You stay there for a bit. I think for time's sakes, we're just going to do this ourselves. Let's get... It's all set up nice here. Yeah, I think we'll be able to get this done much faster that way. And uh, yeah, we'll just have to do these jobs ourselves. All done with the lime finally, and we got 4% left. We're gonna put this away and I think we're going to, no, let's use the field boss. Yeah, let's use the field boss to plant. Let's stick with that plan. All right, back at it. All that red on the screen to the left is a little, little sad to see, but it makes sense for the for the crop type, we don't have to do fertilizer or we don't need it for it with precision farming enabled. Yeah, this is a beast of a field. I love it. It's going to be very interesting to see how much money from the soybeans we do make. And it'll be about a year before we sell them, but that's okay. It'll be nice money when it comes. Why is it putting down fertilizer? Is it just using the product? Yeah, I was just using it. Ah, well, we wasted some fertilizer. That's okay. I'm trying to figure out the best route to do, and I think this is going to be it. And you can get a really good feel about how large this field is while we're planting this direction. And it is so large, I am going as fast as the field boss will let me. What does it recommend? It recommends 18. We're going, yeah, let's, we can slow down to that. So we'll get it done pretty quick this way, but it's, uh, we need bigger equipment. Bigger equipment will be real nice. But yeah, going this direction is definitely going to help instead of going north-south. I think east-west is the play here. Yeah, big field. It's exciting. I like this. We're no longer in the beginning stages. We're getting to like mid-tier. Getting topped off with seed here. And it's, yeah, it's moving a lot faster going this direction now. We got the bottom side completely done. Now we're just working our way back up. It's, uh, yeah, I'm definitely... Oh, I love this size of fields. Let's get turned around here, get all set back up. Yeah, some more of the long stretches. Oh, all done. Wow, that's a grind. It's enjoyable though. Very, very enjoyable planting this field. And now we're gonna go put this away, switch to the John Deere, get the roller going and see about using that for the first time on a planted field. And it's a pretty good size roller, so it shouldn't take too much time to do that. Pretty, pretty sweet though. Yeah, this thing is good size. Look at this. Oh, joy. This drop down and you know, I don't usually add this feature to my playthroughs that much because some of the fields I use just aren't large enough to really feel the, the benefit of it. But it definitely feels like with this size of a field, what is it, like a 2.5% yield bonus, I think, for this? It's either 25 or 5. I think it is 2.5%. But for a field this size, 2.5% is actually going to be a nice increase in yield. Well, yeah, still trying to figure out the best route to do everything on this field. And just some spots are going to be awkward no matter what. And that's the... Uh, the bad side or the fun side, depending on your viewpoint on it, on having fields that aren't just squares. 
And I do enjoy having fields that aren't squares, so we will enjoy the fact that it's not just back and forth. Let's go ahead and get this folded up, and man, this looks nice. Nice and rolled and ready. We got weeds growing, and that's about it. We'll take care of those probably in August or September. But yeah, that's a full day of work. Uh, we did the time slow because we were going to do another episode in this month of the remodel we've talked about many, many times. But yeah, that's a very productive day, and I'm excited to see in a few months' time the yield on that field because that's going to be our big money field. Soybeans usually pay pretty well. And this will be the last time this place is all crazily ugly organized like this. I'm Socks Way Up. I'll catch you on the next episode. Well, 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 welcome back to Cattle Ranch. Today's episode is going to be a little different. You can see we're still in July and it's five o'clock. We're heading to the store. We're selling everything we can to get extra money and drive through the grass to make sure we have enough money for today's episode. Many episodes ago, we talked about doing a remodel and getting things all situated. Oh, what we, we got here, 54,000 in goods, still, still selling, planks are selling. Yeah, we're up, oh, so close to a million. Let's go get the flowers sold. I don't think this will put us over that million dollar mark, but we do have the silage to sell. It's not the best time to sell it. We're gonna need a lot of money today though. And the flowers are almost there. 980 after the flowers. $980,000. All right, let's go back. We've got to switch trailers. Load up some, what are they called? What are they called? Bales. You know, load up the silage bales, get those sold. You know, I'm hoping a million's enough. I did not do any calculations, um, but let's speed things up here so we can make the most of this episode. It's going to be a little different. All right, 30 bales and. Defying gravity. Look at you. You're kind of amazing. And let's see if we can get this in one go. I like to just leave them on here, but loosen them up a little bit. Yep, there we go. Get them sold. We'll just drive straight forward. Should be a good penny there. Yeah, we're over the million mark. Let's go get the rest. We should be at like one point, maybe, maybe close to 1.2. One in, yeah, 1.1 million when we get to start this, uh, Exciting, exciting transformation of our property. And 69,000 more, $1.12 million. Let's get home. We can go backwards the whole way, right? Let's get home and get this started. A lot of today's episode is gonna be done in this menu. We'll probably transition to a time-lapse very soon, but we're gonna start by selling the greenhouses. Only a couple pennies back there. And the water tower is gonna get moved. We will replace that later. So the money's gonna keep going up, and I guess these supplemental tanks as well. All right, we're, and we're just gonna keep going here. Only 9,000 for this. We got a good use out of it, so getting $9,000 back isn't bad. This sawmill as well. Uh, some things I wanna do, I wanna check some inventory, because we are gonna cheese it a little bit, like we're moving things. For example, do we have anything in here? We have a little bit of planks. We aren't gonna worry about that, but this one we have 8,000 long planks, so we will be putting those back in that building after we move it. This one, yeah, that's stuff that we're going to just lose. So we'll go here and sell that. Okay, so now let's go back in that mode. We got this big open land. Not bad. What are we going to do here? I don't know how much money that is. Is it worth buying something for... Oh, do we have a tractor that can have a bucket? Get a bucket for the field boss, potentially, and sell all those chips. We'll think that through. But let's see, what else is there? This area we will come back to. We just wanted to get all the money maximized. And yeah, I kind of... Yeah, it was, you know, it started the game, so we did that. Oh, we have the one bail out here still. We'll get that soon. But yeah, so this area, yeah, landscape's looking very, very different. First thing we're gonna try to do here is we're looking at this slope and we want to even it out. And gosh, that's gonna be in the way. And for this first part, I think we will jump into a time lapse and we're gonna try to level it all out, but I'm not exactly sure how well, oh, it is working good. Here we go, it's gonna cost us money. And this leveled out. 
So about right there, bring it in. Not as much as I thought it was gonna cost, so that's not bad. Like this, and then this road. Don't wanna go all the way to the grass field. Ah, oh, that bale and me are gonna mess it up, aren't we? There we go, let's move this even farther out of the way, and I'll stand here, and time lapse. For you to turn a whole world upside down Turn this big bowl back around Had you been watching and waiting From some place up above Somehow knowing in this place Looking nice and flat all right, we'll fix we'll fix that later. We'll fix that later. Let's keep going. And I cannot wait to get to know you. To help ease the troubles on your mind. To walk by your side, holding your hand in mine. I'll treasure that for as long as I'm alive. You're welcome here, welcome here, I heart you hold hostage, that much is clear, you are most welcome here, you already have a way with people. Your old man has yet to find Please stay this gentle and kind Oh, and none of us can wait to get to know you better To see who lives behind those blues And on your first day doing anything All right, jumping back into it. This will be our first facility. Looks like we have some cleanup there. A little bit more detail will go in here, but I wanted to kind of jump in and kind of explain a little bit what we're doing. We're going to create a greenhouse facility here. It's going to be self-sufficient, so we're going to use a lot of the automations. We're going to set everything to selling. And this is going to be where the manager of it, you know, stays. He has his office in here. And we will get all these prepared. But I wanted to check to see if I have a mod that I need for this first. Go here, yeah, automatic irrigation. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, let's activate tomatoes. Let's do lettuce on this one. We'll do lettuce and tomatoes. And oh yeah, we still have that. And we'll do irrigation. Yes, we wanna turn that on on that. So what this will do is it'll automatically fill up the greenhouse for us once we uh, turn that on and it'll charge us money for that every single month. So that's one of the penalties that we're going to take for having this automated is we're going to, yeah, so we'll have it automatically fill up so it's always self-sufficient, always running, but the idea is the manager over here. We're paying him and that's what some of the fees come here. And then also when we go back into these and let's see, we have tomatoes, we'll change the spawn type to selling on all of these. And since those are set to selling, they will be there will be a little bit of money deducted from us for selling it. We won't get full price and we'll be selling them year round, so we won't be selling these at the best price. So that's kind of the penalty there. And also we're going to have to get some equipment that's dedicated to this area for moving pallets around and delivering them to the store. They're not going to actually do that, but we are role playing that part of it. 
So that's good. That's the first facility. The next is we need to replace some of the sawmill. And we might need to move this out, this flat area, even farther. And we'll get some more decorating going here. There's some that I wanted to do in the back, as you probably saw in the time lapse. This area here will have to soften a little bit. Probably add the grass back, but we will plant some more trees naturally, or actually plant them instead of like that, instead of just, you know, clicking around and, and using the construction menu. But these trees, I wanted to just get in there. Nice aesthetics. I need some color too. We'll finish the grass in here and some flowers as well. It'll look even better, but I wanted to kind of jump in and, and give an update before we move on to the next segment. All right, same thing with the lumber facility here, or the, yeah, the forestry facility. So we got the, the sawmill moved out here. We got a nice entry here, but the flooring factory, and we figured we could do two of the banister framing companies because of the amount of long planks we can make here. So we'll start making planks and long planks here and supply the planks to the, what's this one called? flooring fantasies and then the other two will get the long planks and i think we'll be okay we should be okay and these don't these don't line up i wanted to fix that let's fix that but this is looking good 
And we're still at $700,000, so let's jump into fly mode and kind of take a look. So yeah, all this will get turned into concrete or pavement, whatever that step material is called. Asphalt? Yeah, yeah, asphalt for the road. So they'll get a nice upgrade. Come in here and we turn into the greenhouse facility. And then over here we have this nice little separation. Might put a fence here, but we need access to this to drop off trees. So that's why I kind of left that open. But yeah. So the road over here, trying to show the dis difference between the roads and the buildings. We might put some decorations in here just to make it look a little more busy. Uh, but yeah, we got to finish that road, finish the grass here. And we have plenty of room to expand out. We need to flatten and flush all this out so it looks natural. But we could get some more productions out here. But this is going to be kind of our discretionary income, I guess you could say. It's just going to constantly bring us in money. And we'll just have to populate the sawmill with inventory is really the only requirement to keep this up and running. So that's nice. So that's like one, you know, I don't know how much we'll get done here money wise. We've, we've spent almost half of it or maybe a third of it at this point. Looking good. Just got to clean some of this up. Coming together nice. Yeah, we'll get the production set up here. I'll do that later. I don't want to, you know, do that all on camera. But it's going to it's gonna be great. So that gives us a better look at it. Yeah, let's take the HUD away too. Looking sweet. Yeah, again, we'll have to get some vehicles in this area as well for the transportation. And I think, gosh, we might share the forklifts for a little bit with them. But yeah, let's get back into this mode. Let's get the fence fixed here and back into time lapse. I hope you're enjoying this episode. It's a little bit different. Yeah, not too bad. It's white lines. I wish, yeah, I wish there's a better mod for that to make parking spaces, but this is the best one I've found so far. That looks pretty good. Those are looking pretty cool. This area is looking pretty populated. Got some trash, just some randomness around here just to add to it. A little workbench, you know, and we'll still be able to sneak in here and, and put some trees down. Oh man, I could do this forever. So this facility is legit now. Once we get all the production set up, it's got its truck for the trailer. It's got its forklift to move pallets around and sell them. Very good. So I think this area we can call done. We have 500,000 left. Well, we just about ran out of money. We have our new storage here. And the idea we went with is most of the grass implements are going to be in this storage shed here you can see we have the lawn mowers or the the mowers they're not the lawn mowers they're mowers the balers 
We also have our tether, our rake, our roller, our wrapper in here. And then we go over to the other facility here, or the other shed, and it's all the other implements. You just kind of put them everything into its own place. You know, got our cedar, our planter, our sprayer, the surveyor, the plow, the cultivator, the spreader, the roller. We got our cultivator or our combine in here as well, our harvester. And then we went ahead and mixed up this facility as well. We got new bins in and some silos over here for some goods. They're kind of somewhat cheesy. I'm going to look for better ones. I think these are good for now, but we have seed fertilizer, lime. I'm going to look for some liquid ones as well so we can get the liquid fertilizer and the liquid herbicide there. Did a little bit more decorating around the house and put the vehicles where they need to be. We got the trailer in the shed as well. Yeah, that's looking pretty good here and some little detailing around the roads of, you know, where we've worn out the grass turned into this normal natural paths. Upgraded the roads as well to be asphalt in certain areas or some places where there's still dirt roads where we haven't afforded to do those upgrades yet. I was gonna get to some redesign of the cows the cow area you can see we're kind of a mess out there right now but that's going to come naturally in year three we're going to do major expansions on that and this facility over here is really going to help with that it's going to i'm hoping to bring in a lot of money every month with this facility hoping to just be a very a very profitable farm and you can see we have a little cattle guard here a little cattle guard so we'll detail that up a little bit better too but it's looking pretty nice prevent the the cows from wandering over this way yeah this facility is turning out pretty good i didn't want to go overboard with the detailing and a lot of that was around money we're down to like eighty thousand dollars now and we need to add the grass back here that's expensive we'll have to do that later might plant it ourselves it's a little area we need to clean up uh, i think that's the spawn area but yeah let's fix that oh no i think we meant to come back and do that that was overlap because of the greenhouses that's right and just a little more there but yeah the meadow i guess we could let's you know why are we why are we stopping when we have money get the meadow area added back here it'll look a lot better finished i believe yeah oh and that's as far as the business area is going to extend and the road for now we'll do some more finishing in that area as we extend and expand Try not to stomp over the rest of those plants here. There we go. There's that side. And, you know, adding these trees I thought was a nice touch. We didn't go overboard. We will plant our own trees eventually to keep the sawmill in production because eventually we're going to run out of trees. But I don't think that'll be within the next few years on this playthrough. But, man, it's been fun. Fun doing an episode like this. Haven't done anything like this ever, really, in Farming Simulator. But yeah, this road will continue long term. Probably blend into that road. Oh, we'll see. Lots of thoughts going on here. Let me know what you think about some of the redesign and rebuilds out here. You see, detailing seems like it's half finished, but that facility is kind of done. And this one's more, you know, industrial. So the concrete really works with the road, the roads there and the asphalt. The dairy is going to probably get moved eventually over to that area as we expand on the dairy and, and in that production itself grows this shed over here. It's it's turning out to not be the best decision. But like I said, in the season three or year three of this uh, Rags to Riches cattle ranch series, we'll definitely be revisiting everything cows. And I plan on doing bigger equipment and really expanding the cow operation because this is all about getting as many cows as possible for our cattle farm but i think that's going to do it for this episode not any farming but it was the way i wanted to end year two with this episode of just spending all of the money that we've earned and really upgrading things and seeing if this this can really kick our financial gears even up higher and the only thing i really want to do turn the hud on let's speed up time a little bit and get to nighttime and see yeah i didn't think we added enough lighting something i'll revisit when we have a little bit more cash but down to forty nine thousand dollars. that's gonna be that's gonna be pretty rough yeah this needs some lights some more around the silos probably the bins and a little bit more around the shed i think but yeah pretty pretty sweet it's pretty dark now go ahead and fast forward to the morning actually i don't want to do that yet i don't have the productions all set up we got to finish that we got a couple hours of productions that we can get help with but 
yeah, that's going to do it for this episode in this dark finish. Find somewhere that's bright. Not too bad. I'm Socks Way Up. I'll catch you on the next episode.